welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 301 In the dense forest, Chiu Yi Meng and the others were fleeing in a panic. Behind her, Luo Xiaoman and Bai Yun Feng both looked distressed and had many wounds on their bodies. In addition, the original dozen or so Yuan Qi cultivators were now missing two or three. As they ran, Luo Xiaoman's chest bounced up and down, as if she was carrying two snow white rabbits in her arms. If it were any other time, Bai Yun Feng would definitely have taken in such a beautiful sight, but right now, this little brat was not in the mood at all. His life was on the verge of being forfeit, so how could he care about such beauty? There seemed to be some kind of pursuer behind the group, so in a panic, everyone was unfamiliar with this place and quickly lost their way, only knowing to follow behind Chiu Yi Meng. Running at full speed, the Yuan Qi passed by too quickly, and a small mountain appeared in front of them. Chiu Yi Meng let out a light breath and said, Let's stop and rest up ahead, the people behind us shouldn't be able to catch up so quickly. Let's recover first before continuing. Hearing her say this, the group couldn't help breathing a sigh of relief. After running for a day and a night, no one could afford such a consumption of energy. Not long after, everyone came to a secluded mountain and found a place to sit down, taking out pills to restore themselves. Next to them was a clear spring flowing down from the top of the mountain. Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man hurriedly went up and drank a few mouthfuls of water to moisten their dry throats and wash their faces, finally relaxing. Since the day they met that enchanting red-robed woman, their group had begun to run out of luck. The three immortal ascension boundary cultivators who had followed them were all killed by that woman, and then the dozen or so Yuan Qi cultivators, under the leadership of Chiu Yi Meng, explored the surrounding terrain, but before they could figure out the situation, they were surrounded by a group of cultivators who cultivated evil arts. After a fierce battle, they were finally able to break through, but the noise they made alarmed even more people. The strength of this group was not weak. However, there were too many enemies, and the number of pursuers behind them had only increased over the past few days. In desperation, Chiu Yi Meng could only retreat into this dense forest, trying to use the terrain here to find an opportunity to break through. The two women sat down, both looking exhausted. Elder Sister Chiu, what is this place? Luo Xiaoman's pair of big eyes were filled with panic. Listening to Luo Xiaoman's question, Chiu Yi Meng's expression froze. After hesitating for a moment, he slowly said, If I'm not wrong, I'm not sure if I'm wrong. This should be the Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land. Ah, the Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land. Luo Xiaoman exclaimed, her beautiful eyes trembling slightly. Everyone else also stared at her in amazement. Bai Yin Feng frowned and asked with some disbelief, Young Lady Chiu, how can you be sure this is the Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land? Chiu Yi Meng glanced at him faintly. Besides the Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land, where else can there be so many cultivators who have fallen into the evil Tao? Didn't you see their expressions when they were fighting? That doesn't necessarily mean this place is the Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land. Bai Yun Feng still couldn't believe it, perhaps, this is the territory of an evil sect. Chiu Yi Meng chuckled. I'm sure this is the Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land. Then what should we do? Luo Xiao Man didn't have any ideas of her own, unlike Chiu Yi Meng who was confident she could take charge of the overall situation. Hearing this, her beautiful face couldn't help but turn pale. I don't know. Chiu Yi Meng shook her head bitterly. This time, she had only intended to lead the group to High Heaven Pavilion, but now they had suddenly arrived at the Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land thousands of kilometers away. The deviation was too great. The Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land had countless masters and evil demons everywhere. This group of people had no master guarding them, so it was impossible for them to break through the blockade and leave safely. On top of that, the Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land and the forces outside were like fire and water. Once this group of people fell into enemy hands, the consequences would be unimaginable. This was especially true for Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man, 
both of whom were peerless beauties, so if they were caught by those evil cultivators, all that awaited them was a fate of being toyed with and humiliated. Take this time to rest. Fortunately, there aren't many masters among the people chasing us, otherwise we would have nowhere to run. Chiu Yi Meng sighed deeply. N. Luo Xiao Man nodded and closed her eyes obediently. Less than half an hour after the group had recovered, Chiu Yi Meng suddenly opened her eyes and shouted, Hurry up, someone's coming. Hearing her shout, everyone hurriedly woke up from their meditation and followed her out. During this past month, Chiu Yi Meng had detected the enemy's movements many times in advance and led everyone to avoid many dangers. Although they didn't know how a Yuan Qi ninth stage cultivator like her managed to do this, everyone had long been convinced by her methods and naturally obeyed her orders. Yang Kai and Shan Qin Luo walked through the jungle. After getting along with her for nearly a month, Yang Kai discovered that this enchantress's heart was actually quite good. She looked weak and delicate, her face was charming, and her age was probably around 27 to 28 years old, but she was skilled at maintaining her appearance, no different from a teenage girl. In fact, she even had a unique temperament that came with the passage of time. This kind of temperament was particularly attractive to men. Coupled with her charm, it could be said that Shan Qin Luo was the nemesis of all men in the world, attracting both young and old alike. During this time, Yang Kai also behaved very calmly, no longer blindly calling her elder sister like before, causing Shan Qin Luo to have a whole new level of respect for him. It was rare for a 17 or 18 year old boy to have such a calm personality. Although the two of them had been together for a long time, they hadn't talked much. Shan Qin Luo didn't speak much, and Yang Kai also didn't try to annoy her. Most of the time, he just followed her, and when he rested, he would meditate and cultivate, not relaxing for even a moment. Traveling with such beauty, his mood was pleasant, and he wasn't lonely along the way. According to Shan Qin Luo, she had come out this time to find something that had a lot to do with her. In the past, her mother had come looking for it, and before that, her grandmother had also come looking for it. Now, it was her turn to do so. However, plans couldn't keep up with changes. Before coming here, her strength was extraordinary, so naturally there wouldn't be any problems. However, after the backlash of her cultivation method, her strength had dropped significantly, and now she had only recovered to the third level of Yuan Qi, so she couldn't go to that dangerous place anymore. Without a strong foundation, going there would only be suicide. However, the two of them wandered in this dense forest for more than ten days, but they still stayed there. As they walked, Yang Kai frowned, and looked at her suspiciously. He stopped and said, Beauty, let me ask you a question. What? Shan Qing Luo also stopped, and looked at Yang Kai indifferently. You, are you lost? Yang Kai asked the guess in his heart. Shan Qing Luo's face showed an unnatural expression, and her eyes flickered. Ah. Uh. Yang Kai was stunned, you're not really lost, are you? Shan Qing Luo blushed slightly, and snorted, so what if I'm lost? Is it strange? Yang Kai smiled bitterly, if you're lost, you should have said so earlier. I thought you had a clear goal, so I followed you blindly for so many days. Fortunately, she hadn't been in a hurry these days, and her expression was calm. If Yang Kai hadn't noticed that the scenery here was familiar, he probably wouldn't have remembered. However, she was also an expert, so how could she be lost? Yang Kai felt that it was a little inconceivable. What do you know? Shan Qing Luo snorted, and her small nose wrinkled, this is a maze forest, and there is a natural array here, covering an area of a hundred miles. If my strength was still there, I would naturally find a way out, but now I can only rely on my luck. As she spoke, she glared at Yang Kai, and gritted her teeth, in the end, it's still your problem. What does it have to do with me? Yang Kai was angry. Who shared the energy when I broke through? Who made me suffer from the backlash of my secret art, causing my strength to drop so much? Shan Qin Luo questioned. 
When she brought Yang Kai to this maze forest, she hadn't expected that she would suffer from the backlash of her secret art, and now she couldn't get out. Good, 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 it's my problem. Yang Kai knew he was in the wrong, so he didn't bother to argue with her, and instead slightly released his divine sense, only to find that the effective range of his divine sense had been greatly reduced, only covering an area of less than a kilometer. Shan Qing Luo looked at him with a light smile, and said, I know you're a bit strange, just you on Qi fourth stage but you've already cultivated your divine sense, but without the strength of an immortal ascension boundary, it's impossible to find a way out, so save your energy. Beauty, we're in trouble. Yang Kai stared at her, his expression changing slightly. What? Before he had finished speaking, the sound of flapping clothes came from not far away, and immediately six or seven figures suddenly descended from the sky, landing not far in front of the two of them. Shan Qing Luo's face also sank, narrowing her beautiful eyes as she stared at the newcomers. When she saw the appearance of the person who had come, her temperament suddenly changed, becoming overbearing and arrogant. Yang Kai looked at her in surprise, thinking to himself that she was indeed worthy of being one of the six great evil kings. This kind of superior attitude was not something an average person could imitate, but at the same time, he was also secretly on guard against these newcomers. Ha! Huh. As soon as the six or seven people landed, they discovered Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo. This group of people had chased after Chiu Yi Meng and the others, but after seeing Shan Qing Luo in her red robes, their expressions changed abruptly and they all took a step back. Shan Qing Luo just stared at them with a smile, her arrogant temperament becoming more and more obvious. Being stared at by her like this, the faces of these people became more and more gloomy, each of them feeling as if they were facing a great enemy. I was wondering who it was, it turns out it was just a few of the Beast King's subordinates who didn't have eyes. Shan Qing Luo snorted, slowly saying, her expression filled with arrogance and coldness. These people all trembled, their faces suddenly going pale. One of the Immortal Ascension Boundary Third Stage Masters quickly stepped forward and respectfully bowed, trembling as he said, Subordinate Gui Yuan Ming greets Master, Queen. I did not know Master was here, if I have offended you, please forgive me. As he spoke, he lowered his eyes and stared straight at his toes, not daring to meet Shan Qing Luo's eyes. Greetings, my lord. The others also hurriedly bowed, their expressions respectful, but there was also a hint of fear. Everyone's raised arms were trembling slightly. It was obvious that they were extremely scared. Humph. Shan Qing Luo snorted, causing these people to become even more frightened. Your courage isn't small, did you come here to chase me? As she spoke, her expression became unfriendly, a murderous intent flashing across her eyes. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 302 Hearing Shan Qing Luo's question, those people complained incessantly in their hearts, cold sweat dripping down their foreheads. How did they end up encountering this dragon lady here? The heavens don't have eyes. We don't dare. Gui Yuan Ming couldn't help but swallow his saliva, Master knows, this subordinate is only tracking a group of Yuan Qi cultivators who broke into the Holy Land. This subordinate doesn't want to offend Master Feng Wei, this subordinate deserves to die 10,000 deaths. Oh, is that so? Shan Qing Luo lightly responded. Her nasal voice was very strong, and her voice was charming and enchanting. When those people heard this, not only did they not feel that it was pleasant to hear, but they also felt as if there was a thorn in their back. They all broke out in cold sweat, not daring to make a sound. Shan Qing Luo calmly raised her orchid fingers, gently stroking her fingernails, and said with an indifferent expression, Since you know that you deserve to die ten thousand deaths, why don't you make a move? Do you want me to send you on your way? Gui Yuan Ming's body instantly trembled, and with a plop, he knelt on the ground, his head touching the ground as a chill ran down his spine. The people behind him were also drenched in cold sweat. 
large drops of sweat slid down their heads and flowed down their necks to their chests. Yang Kai's eyes flashed, and he silently stood behind Shan Qing Luo. This was the first time he had seen the Dragon Lady's methods, and it was really awe-inspiring. Was this the real beguiling demon queen? Although he didn't quite understand the situation in front of him, Yan Kai guessed that Shan Qing Luo had some grudges with the masters in front of him, so she was bullying them for no reason. Moreover, Shan Qing Luo's current strength had greatly decreased, so she probably wanted to use this kind of preemptive strike to scare them away. Hee <laughs> hee. Shan Qing Luo suddenly laughed and said to the other side, Get up, I was just joking with you, how could you take it so seriously, so boring, Hui Yuan Ming didn't dare to move, he didn't believe Shan Qing Luo, this kind of woman, if he stood up, she would directly kill him, he repeatedly cowed out and thanked, Thank you master for not killing me, thank you master for not killing me. Shan Qing Luo coldly glanced at the other side, and said with a cold voice, Go back and pass a message to your master. Regarding the matter a month ago, I will have a good talk with him sooner or later, so get lost. Hui Yuan Ming, as if he had been spared from a dream, he quickly got up, while he lowered his head and retreated, Please rest rest assured master, master, I will definitely pass your message's order. Shan Qing Luo's Shan Shan Qing Luo Sha, Qing Luo's Qing Luo six people. He mustered all of his strength. In the blink of an eye, they were nowhere to be seen. Shan Qing Luo Qing Luo, Shan 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 Demon, S, Shan 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 Yu, Shan Shan, Shan Qing, T. In his heart, he greatly admired this dragon lady's methods and the majesty she had just displayed. Shan Qing Luo walked faster and faster, and after a while, she actually flew like the wind. Why are you so fast? Didn't you already deceive them? Yang Kai asked while chasing after her. It's only for a while, Hui Yuan Ming's scheming is deep. Who knows when he will see through it. My relationship with the Thunderbolt Beast King is not very good, the reason I was injured before was because he brought people to ambush me. Those people are the Beast King's subordinates, if they catch me, I'll be finished. Shan Qing Luo hurriedly explained, her feet not stopping for a moment, in a flash, she had already traveled more than ten Zhang. TSK TSK Yang Kai's expression was strange, you are an evil king, that thunderbolt beast king has the same status as you, yet he dared to bring people to ambush you. If there isn't any serious conflict of interest, then it must be that he covets your beauty, the temptation of a beautiful woman is indeed very strong. You shut up. Shan Qing Luo glared at him, her expression becoming cold. Yan Kai just shrugged his shoulders and stopped talking. Gui Yuan Ming's group of seven fled more than a dozen kilometers before suddenly coming to a stop. What's wrong, Brother Guo? An immortal ascension boundary second stage master looked at him and asked. Gui Yuan Ming's brow furrowed as he glanced back at Shan Qing Luo. Seemingly thinking of something, he asked, don't you think that Dragon Lady is acting a bit strange today? What's wrong? Why would she let us go so easily? The more Gui Yuan Ming thought about it, the more suspicious he became, Master brought people to ambush her a month ago, not to mention the past grievances between her and Master. Even if we met her a month ago, we definitely wouldn't have had a good time. Then why would she let us go? Gui Yuan Ming frowned and pondered. Hesitantly, he said, I heard that although we weren't able to capture the Dragon Lady in that battle, she was still struck by one of Master's moves. That's right, I saw that her aura was a little unstable just now. Could it be that she was seriously injured in that battle and still hasn't recovered? How could the power of Master's moves be so easily neutralized? Gui Yuan Ming's eyes lit up, she must have been seriously injured, otherwise she wouldn't have let us go so easily. I still remember that half a year ago, Brother Yuan, your little brother was killed by that dragon lady on the spot just because he glanced at her, the dragon lady is vicious and merciless, how could she be so easy to deal with? Hearing this, Yuan Shi's gloomy face flashed a trace of resentment as he coldly snorted, 
if it weren't for the special secret art she cultivated, the previous generation's queen wouldn't have been able to pass down most of her cultivation to them. How could she be so strong? A little brat, father here would have killed her long ago. Gui Yuan Ming's eyes narrowed as he grinned meaningfully, if brother Yuan wants to avenge your little brother, I'm afraid this is your chance. Everyone present understood the meaning behind his words and couldn't help feeling a chill run down their spines. Not everyone dared to have ideas about the beguiling demon queen. Are you afraid? Gui Yuan Ming sneered, since she let us go, she must have some scruples, but what is she worried about? She must be worried that she can't beat us. Yuan Shi nodded, Brother Gua's words are reasonable, but this is only a guess, what if she isn't injured, or has already recovered from her injuries? We'll know once we try. Gui Yuan Ming grinned meaningfully, let's see if you have the guts. The others were silent as they glanced at each other with hesitant expressions. It was undeniable that Gui Yuan Ming's words were very reasonable, but they were still afraid of what if. Seeing the hesitation on everyone's faces, Gui Yuan Ming struck while the iron was hot, everyone, this is the famous beguiling demon queen, don't you want to have a taste? To be able to experience such a woman once, even if you die, it would be worth it. Thinking about Shan Qing Luo's tender body in seductive voice, thinking about how she had been stripped naked, thinking about her moans and cries, everyone's breathing became heavy. Gui Yuan Ming continued, moreover, since she can pass on her cultivation to the next generation, it doesn't mean she can't pass it on to us. Immortal Ascension Boundary Ninth Stage Strength Even if we split it evenly, each of us should be able to increase our cultivation by at least one or two minor realms, right? Everyone was finally moved. Yuan Shi's eyes flashed as he quickly nodded, Brother Gua is right, we can both taste her beauty and obtain her cultivation it is indeed worth risking our lives for. The others thought about it carefully before gritting their teeth and agreeing. Gui Yuan Ming laughed loudly, Brothers, you're truly loyal. There's no time to lose, let's hurry up and catch up. Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo flew through the jungle, their direction uncertain. Half a day later. Suddenly, the sound of hurried footsteps came from behind. Shan Qing Luo's face sank. Gritting her teeth, she said, Sure enough, we've been discovered. Saying so, she quickly stopped and took a deep breath to calm the blood in her heart. Together with Yang Kai, she calmly stood in place. It's them. Yang Kai released his divine sense slightly and noticed the number of people approaching, his face also becoming gloomy. Shan Qing Luo's worries were indeed reasonable. Although she had scared off that group of people with an overbearing attitude, and didn't have many flaws in her words and actions, those who were meticulous could still find clues. It was like a little bit of blood in the sea, a fierce shark would always be able to find the scent. Master A moment later, Gui Yuan Ming and the others suddenly appeared not far away, all of them looking a little nervous, but now they were not as cautious as before, their eyes flashing with a meaningful light. They also dared to secretly look at Shan Qing Luo, their eyes flashing with obscene light from time to time. What's the matter? Shan Qing Luo asked with a cold face. Ha! Huh. Master's speed is so fast, it took us a long time to catch up. Gui Yuan Ming's attitude was clearly more presumptuous than before, obviously he was testing, but he was already 80% sure of his speculation. It had only been a short time since they separated from her, but it took them a long time to catch up. If it weren't for a guilty conscience, why would they run so fast? Cut the crap, what's the matter? Shan Qing Luo looked impatient and coldly shouted. It's like this, this subordinate forgot one thing before. My master once told me that if I met you, I would give you a small gift. This is a small gift for mistress, I hope that mistress won't take what happened a month ago to heart. Saying so, Gui Yuan Ming casually tossed something towards Shan Qing Luo. This was a chess piece, of special quality, obviously a good grade secret treasure. At this moment, this secret treasure was filled with Yuan Qi by Gui Yuan Ming. It seemed to be thrown casually, but in fact it was filled with evil intentions. 
Shan Qing Luo casually caught it. Although she was prepared, she was still shocked by this chess piece and her delicate body trembled, her arm slightly numb. Seeing this scene, the eyes of the people around them all lit up. Gui Yuan Ming, you're courting death. Shan Qing Luo shouted. Gui Yuan Ming laughed, Aya, Master, forgive me, this subordinate accidentally used a little too much strength, but with Master's strength, how could you not catch it? Could it be that Master's current strength, is greatly reduced? At the end of his words, his voice was low, and his pair of eyes did not hide the obscene light in them, constantly roaming over Shan Qing Luo's body. Shan Qing Luo's expression changed slightly, knowing that the other party had seen through her, so she no longer tried to hide it and laughed lightly, yes, my strength is greatly reduced, but if I want to kill you bastards, it will be as easy as flipping my hand. As she spoke, her pair of beautiful eyes suddenly glowed with a dense light, as if they contained endless magic, drawing in everyone's divine soul, trying to pull them in. At the same time, a strange fragrance filled the air, causing every man's heart to involuntarily beat faster and their blood to boil. Yang Kai's eyes were slightly confused for a moment, but he quickly regained his clarity. Yuan Qi quickly retreated into Dantian, the Azura sword appeared in his hand, and the evil energy in his unyielding golden skeleton burst out. Wrapped in a cloud of black qi, he arrived in front of Guiyuan Ming. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 303 Yang Kai's reaction speed was extremely fast. He had acted almost as soon as Shan Qing Luo used her seduction technique. Shan Qing Luo was secretly surprised. She didn't know how he could escape from the illusion so quickly. Not to mention that he was only at the fourth level of Yuan Qi, even an immortal ascension boundary master wouldn't be able to escape so easily in front of her. Which sect did this little hooligan come from? The Shura sword spat out black gas and stabbed towards Gui Yuan Ming's neck like a snake coming out of its hole. Gui Yuan Ming's blank eyes suddenly emitted a cold light as his mouth curled into a sneer. Yang Kai's face darkened. He quickly changed from attack to defense, his Yuan Qi bursting out majestically. Ding! Yang Kai rolled back and returned to Shan Qing Luo's side. His hand holding the sword trembled slightly as his blood and qi flowed backwards. He let out a heavy groan before calming down. Ha ha ha! Gui Yuan Ming looked up to the sky and laughed. His expression revealed a trace of obscenity. He licked his lips and stared at Shan Qing Luo unscrupulously, saying, This subordinate has long heard of Master's dream. It is indeed extraordinary. Shan Qing Luo's charming face flashed a trace of coldness. Only now did she know that Gui Yuan Ming and the others were already prepared. If Master's strength wasn't damaged, we naturally wouldn't be able to resist this dream. But now, he he. Gui Yuan Ming laughed obscenely and raised his arms, shouting, Brothers, it seems that Master Master's body isn't very good. Later on, you must be gentle. Don't ruin our queen's delicate body. Brother Gua, don't worry. We will be gentle. Yuan Shi stepped forward and stared at Shan Qing Luo without fear. He he he. A series of obscene laughter sounded. Everyone was still a little uneasy. But now that they had easily resisted Shan Qing Luo's dream, their morale was greatly boosted. Shan Qing Luo was so angry that she laughed. She looked at everyone and said in a soft voice, Do you really think you can defeat this king? Seeing that she was calm and composed without the slightest trace of fear, Gui Yuan Ming's heart also jumped. Hesitation appeared on his face. After a while, he gritted his teeth and said in a low voice, Everyone. You have to know that once the bow is drawn, there is no turning back. We have already offended this lowly servant. If she escapes this time, I believe you don't need me to remind you of the fate that awaits us. With Shan Qing Luo's means and personality. If she really escaped, then these people wouldn't be able to live in peace even if they hid at the ends of the earth. Knowing the severity of the matter, 
the others nodded in agreement. If that's the case, then I can only give it a try. If I can taste the most seductive woman in the world, why should I fear death? Gui Yuan Ming said in a low voice, Brother Ban, you're the weakest, so I'll leave that eyesore to you. Get rid of him as soon as possible and come help us. A skinny man looked at Yang Kai and grinned, no problem. Shan Qing Luo giggled. Secretly circulating her Yuan Qi, she suddenly waved her hands forward and shouted, daring to offend this king, all of you will die. A series of crystal clear white silk threads suddenly filled the sky and shrouded the crowd. These six or seven people were all immortal ascension boundary masters. However, their strength wasn't too high, most of them just immortal ascension boundary first or second stage, only Gui Yuan Ming was a third stage master. Shan Qing Luo suddenly launched an attack, forcing everyone to hurriedly circulate their secret arts and use their artifacts to resist. Yang Kai waved his hand and condensed nearly a thousand sword qi blades around him. Thousands of blood-red petals fluttered in the air, transforming the world into a sea of flowers. His opponents were all immortal ascension boundary masters, so Yang Kai had no intention of holding back. Such a concentrated attack also caused the enemy to be in a fluster as they tried to defend themselves. Shan Qing Luo quickly formed a series of seals with her hands and the crystal clear silk threads covering the sky suddenly seemed to come alive, wrapping around two of the immortal ascension boundary first stage masters. These two were the weakest of the group, so in a moment of carelessness, they were bound by the silk threads. Yang Kai took this opportunity to release his white tiger and divine ox seal, summoning two jet black beast phantoms to roar towards the sky, baring their fangs as they rushed towards the two men, biting them fiercely. Thousands of blood-red petals attacked in unison, each petal as sharp as a blade. Waves of miserable shrieks rang out from the other side, causing Gui Yuan Ming and the others to be greatly alarmed. Asterisk poo poo poo, asterisk blood splashed. Shan Qing Luo's eyes flashed with amazement, she hadn't expected Yang Kai to be so powerful. This series of fierce attacks was not something a Yuan Qi fourth stage cultivator could display. Clenching her fists, the silk threads tightly bound the two wounded immortal ascension boundary first stage masters and instantly dismembered them. With the two of them working together, they were able to kill two immortal ascension boundary masters in a single blow. At the same time, Shan Qing Luo's tender body suddenly burst forth with more white silk threads, enveloping the remaining people. Gracefully stepping forward, she instantly closed in on Yang Kai, grabbed his arm, and shouted, Let's go! Yang Kai waved his hand and the thousands of petals quickly flew back into his body. Without stopping, he and Shan Qing Luo quickly fled. This dragon lady was only a Yuan Qi third stage cultivator, being able to join forces with him to kill two immortal ascension boundary masters was already the best she could do. Although the battle was short, the amount of Yuan Qi she had consumed was definitely not small, so staying here wouldn't be good for her. Cheap slut. Gui Yuan Ming's angry shout came from behind. He hadn't expected that Shan Qin Luo had only made a feint. After she left, he realized that the other party had no intention of fighting. After a dozen breaths of time, Gui Yuan Ming and the others finally managed to break free from the white threads, each of them staring towards the direction Shan Qin Luo had disappeared with some lingering fear in their eyes, thinking that the evil king was truly the evil king, even if she was seriously injured, she would not be easy to deal with. What do we do now? Yuan Shi asked with a gloomy face. Gui Yuan Ming bitterly said, if you don't want to be hunted down by her, the only way is to catch up and kill her. Listen to Brother Guo. The remaining people nodded in unison. The others no longer hesitated and hurriedly chased after her. Shan Qing Luo held on to Yang Kai's arm, originally intending to run with him, but as soon as they started running, she discovered that this little rascal's speed wasn't much slower than hers. She didn't know what kind of strange footwork he was using, but with a shua 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 sound, he was able to cover several dozen feet. While running, her plump chest rubbed against Yang Kai's arm, causing Shan Qing Luo's face to turn slightly red, 
and she hurriedly tried to pull back her arm. Don't. Yang Kai hurriedly stopped her, my footwork is used for short distances. Once I use up all my Yuan Qi, I need to slow down a bit. When that happens, I'll need your help. Yang Kai hurriedly held on to her hand. Oh. Shan Qing Luo nodded slightly, continuing to hold on to Yang Kai's arm as they ran together. Half an hour later, Gui Yuan Ming and the others were getting closer and closer. They also knew that if they allowed Shan Qing Luo to escape, the consequences would be unimaginable, so they desperately chased after her. Shan Qing Luo lightly gritted her teeth and said, If we can escape this time, I'll definitely let them die a horrible death. Yang Kai curled his lips, you should think about what will happen if they catch you. Shan Qing Luo's face suddenly paled, her heart filled with fear, and her delicate body couldn't help but tremble a little. Suddenly, an intoxicating blush appeared on her charming face, and she resolutely said, if that's really the case, then before that, I'll give myself to you first. Anyway, you're not bad looking, so it's better than letting those scums take advantage of me. Ah. Yang Kai turned his head to look at her in surprise, not knowing whether to laugh or cry, beauty, although I'm very happy to hear you say that, I know that if I'm taken by you, there won't be a good ending, so it's better to avoid it. I can't afford it. Shan Qing Luo bitterly looked at him, and softly said, so you know. Of course I know. In this life and death situation, there was no need to hide, so Shan Qing Luo sighed and explained, my physique is special, it's called the poisonous widow. Yang Kai was shocked, and quickly asked, what kind of physique is this? What are its characteristics? If I'm aroused, all my body fluids will contain poison, including the breath I exhale. Shan Qing Luo looked at him with a smile, now you should know why you fainted when I kissed you last time, right? Recalling that sweet and wonderful taste, Yang Kai couldn't help but lick his lips. The deeper the emotion, the stronger the poison. Last time, I only gave you a small warning, who told you to be so dishonest? Smiling wryly, Kai Yang replied, I had no choice. You were the one who captured me for no reason. And, all of your bodily fluids, does that also include, down there? Shan Qing Luo's face turned red, and she spat, rogue. Yang Kai turned pale with fright, then wouldn't I be dead if I did it with you once? Yes. Shan Qing Luo took a deep breath, somewhat regretting telling him these things. This little rogue dared to say anything, he didn't hide anything, it was really unbearable. Yang Kai rolled his eyes and said, how about? I make you aroused, then you can poison them to death with a few mouthfuls of saliva. Can you be a bit more serious? Shan Qing Luo couldn't stand it anymore, at this time, what was this little bastard thinking? I'm serious. Yang Kai said with a serious face. While the two were talking, their feet didn't slow down at all, their speed like the wind, suddenly, the front suddenly opened up, they had rushed out of the forest. The two of them abruptly stopped in their tracks as they stared ahead in astonishment. Not far away, there were actually two groups of people. A group of people surrounded another group of people in the center. Those people who were surrounded all had ashen faces and resentful expressions. Yang Kai glanced around and couldn't help letting out a light sigh. He found that the surrounded group was actually the cultivator group headed by Chiu Yi Meng, the big-breasted Luo Xiao man, and the Bai families by Yun Feng were also among them. In addition, there were three or four Yuan Qi cultivators and several corpses on the ground, their blood flowing freely. The circle of people outside was looking at Chiu Yi Meng and the others with a smirk, most of their eyes lingering on Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man's beautiful bodies, their eyes filled with lust. Chiu Yi Meng smiled bitterly while Luo Xiao Man's beautiful face paled. The two women leaned back to back, gasping for breath, their Yuan Qi almost completely depleted. They had fled for so many days, but today, they were finally caught by the ash gray cloud evil land cultivator, and after a fierce battle, they were completely surrounded. Seeing that escape was hopeless, Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo rushed in. 
welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 304 It wasn't that Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo were careless, it was just that the two of them had been in the middle of a romantic conversation and hadn't expected that there would be people in front of them. When these two appeared, they instantly attracted everyone's attention. The people surrounding Chiu Yi Meng and the others should be the cultivator from the ash gray cloud evil land. Their numbers and strength far exceeded Chiu Yi Meng's group, and now they were all looking at the two women in the field with relaxed expressions, ready to enjoy the struggle and resistance of these two beauties in this desperate situation. The struggle and resistance of a beautiful woman always had a unique flavor to it, especially Luo Xiaoman. Her voluptuous breasts swayed up and down in panic, causing the surrounding men to become even more lustful as they stared at her with lustful eyes. So even though they had the absolute upper hand, this group of people didn't rush to attack Chiu Yi Meng and the others, instead wearing shameless smiles on their faces, their demeanors extremely ambiguous. Ha <laughs> ha, this time we've struck gold. When Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo appeared, one of the Yuan Qi Boundary 8th stage men's eyes suddenly lit up as he stared at Shan Qing Luo and burst out laughing. Shan Qing Luo was known as the world's most seductive woman, so naturally she had her own unique charms, which were undoubtedly more attractive than Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiaoman. In particular, this dragon lady was currently running away in a panic, her body dripping with sweat and her cheeks flushed red, making her look even more charming and enchanting. The big man stared at Shan Qin Luo with a burning gaze, his breathing becoming heavy as he shouted, Big brother, look, another beauty has delivered herself to our door, this one is so charming. Not bad, I've never seen such a beauty before. I've never seen such a tasty woman before. Big brother, you'll have a taste of the soup later. When big brother is done playing, we'll go. This kind of woman's body, we won't get tired even if we play with it a thousand times. Another person also shouted excitedly. Aren't there two little girls here? Although they aren't as good as this woman, they are still a rare beauty. This is a rare beauty, we are truly blessed today. Ha ha ha, the group's obscenities made Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiaoman pale while Shan Qing Luo's pretty face also sank. Among this group of people, the only immortal ascension boundary master stared at Shan Qing Luo for a moment before his expression suddenly changed and he shouted, Shut up! The crowd's shouts and laughter suddenly stopped. What's wrong, big brother? Everyone was puzzled. They didn't know why he had looked like he had seen a ghost. The immortal ascension boundary master's forehead suddenly broke out in a cold sweat as he cupped his fists towards Shan Qing Luo and said, Beast King subordinate, Gu Tian Luo, greets Mistress Queen, S, of Shanza's Qing Luo, Qing Luo's as Luo. A woman S's, S, A S, A, S. S S S S S. Normally, if any man dared to show the slightest hint of lewdness while looking at her, she would tear them into ten thousand pieces. But now, these reckless bastards of his actually wanted to play with her. Praising her's goods, 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 goods. It's over, it's over. With this woman's personality. None of them would be able to escape today. Respectfully bowing, Gu Tian Luo felt a chill in his heart. All of his previous confidence and confidence had disappeared, leaving behind only a deep sense of fear. A bunch of fools. Idiots. Even if you want to die, this is not the way to go. Even if you want to die, don't drag me down with you. Originally, he could have enjoyed the wonderful taste of two little beauties, but now he had stepped into the gates of hell. The difference between now and then was enormous. The depression in Gu Tian Luo's heart could be imagined. On top of that, the dragon lady's expression was obviously not good, this time he was afraid he really would not be able to escape. Seeing Gu Tian Luo solemnly bow, the others were also shocked. Carefully savoring his words, Master Queen, Master Queen, besides the dragon lady, who else could it be? In an instant, everyone trembled, a look of horror appearing on their faces. None of them had ever imagined that the woman they had just flirted with was that woman. 
With the situation suddenly reversed, Chiu Yi Meng saw a glimmer of hope and hurriedly shouted, Yang Kai. Yang Kai grinned towards her and quietly squeezed Shan Qing Luo's hand, hinting to her that they should leave quickly, there were still several immortal ascension boundary masters chasing after them. Shan Qing Luo secretly nodded, only letting out a light snort, not saying anything, and together with Yang Kai, the two of them strolled away. Chiu Yi Meng quickly squeezed out an ugly smile, trying to hide her flirtatious expression, and said, Yang Kai, you won't just stand by and watch us die, right? Good or bad, we came here together. Shan Qing Luo's methods, Chiu Yi Meng had personally experienced them, killing three immortal ascension boundary masters with just a wave of her hand. Although she had a grudge with her, in the end, she was still a woman, so falling into her hands was better than falling into the hands of this group of scum. She had kidnapped Yang Kai that day, and now the two of them had appeared here together in an intimate manner, so Chiu Yi Meng naturally thought that there was some kind of relationship between them, so she had pinned her hopes on Yang Kai. As long as Shan Qin Luo could help, they could escape this sea of bitterness and avoid this crisis. Yang Kai, save us! Luo Xiaoman also exclaimed, her eyes filled with hope and pleading. Ha, huh, do we know each other? Yang Kai glanced at them with a smile, his expression indifferent. Yang Kai was currently like a clay bodhisattva crossing a river, unable to protect himself, so how could he be in the mood to care about the life or death of others? What's more, if it weren't for Chiu Yi Meng leading a group of people to High Heaven Pavilion, he would have already been together with Su Yen, living a carefree and happy life. How could he be in such a state now? If one really wanted to investigate, these two women were the culprits of all this, so it was already good enough that Yang Kai didn't find trouble with them. It's me, Yang Kai, I'm Luo Xiao Man, we've met before. Luo Xiao Man really thought that Yang Kai didn't remember her, so she quickly explained, please save us. What's in it for me to save you? Yang Kai chuckled. After a short while, he and Shan Qing Luo had already walked a short distance away. What benefits do you want, elder sister Chiu and I can give you? If I want you, will you give me? Luo Xiao Man suddenly became speechless while Chiu Yi Meng couldn't help taking a deep breath, a look of disgust appearing on her face. It's time to go. Yang Kai whispered to Shan Qing Luo, before we go, let's warn them not to bully those two women. Do you like them? Shan Qing Luo looked at Yang Kai suspiciously. No, I just feel that it would be strange if they were to be defiled. Yang Kai frowned, in fact, I'm quite protective of them. Shan Qing Luo giggled, but before she had time to shout, Wei Yuan Ming's angry roar came from behind, cheap slut, don't even think about leaving. The two women's expressions changed slightly, and without any hesitation, they quickly flew out. Gu Tian Luo raised his head suspiciously, frowning as he shouted, is it Brother Guo? Gui Yuan Ming was stunned for a moment before his expression became joyful, Brother Gu, quickly stop that dragon lady Shan Qin Luo. Ah! Gu Tian Luo was shocked, thinking to himself that today he had suffered eight lifetimes of bad luck. Not only were his subordinates blind, even Gui Yuan Ming had gone crazy. You want to go crazy? Why are you dragging me into this? Opportunity knocks but once, that dragon lady is seriously injured and is no longer as strong as she used to be. Gui Yuan Ming shouted. Gu Tian Luo stood up straight, thinking to himself that it was no wonder she had so hurriedly passed by him, even ignoring his subordinates who had tried to flirt with her. She's seriously injured. In an instant, the humility and panic on Gu Tian Luo's face disappeared as he decisively formed a seal with his hands and sent out a golden beam of light. Yang Kai and Shan Qin Luo had only flown a few dozen meters when the golden beam of light arrived in front of them and suddenly transformed into a golden light curtain. Yang Kai and Shan Qin Luo were caught off guard and collided head on with the golden light curtain, sending both of them flying backwards. When they landed on the ground, Gui Yuan Ming and the others had already closed in and surrounded them. Yang Kai cursed, his luck was really bad today, 
even running away was intercepted. Ha ha ha. Gui Yuan Ming laughed as he stared at Shan Qing Luo coldly and wickedly, Mistress, you won't be able to escape, save your energy. Shan Qing Luo coldly snorted, her beautiful eyes staring at Gu Tian Luo as she scolded, Gu Tian Luo, do you also want to die? Gu Tian Luo shrunk his neck and smiled, Master must be joking, who would want to die if they can live? Today, a few of my subordinates have offended you. I just want you to stay and have a good talk with me. I don't have any other intentions. I hope you can understand. If you don't want to die, kill them for me and I'll let bygones be bygones. Shan Qing Luo said coldly. Gui Yuan Ming sneered, cheap slut. Don't try to put on airs here, do you really think you're still at your peak? No matter how eloquent you are, don't even think about leaving. Since we dared to do this, we'll definitely do it to the end. Good. Yuan Shi stepped forward and stared at Shan Qing Luo, Master, if you still value your life, please don't resist, otherwise it won't do anyone any good. Shan Qing Luo sneered, her eyes filled with disdain, if I go all out, I can at least take three of you with me. Which one of you wants to come? The several immortal ascension boundary masters all frowned, their expressions filled with dread. It was precisely because they were afraid that Shan Qing Luo would go all out that even though they had surrounded her, no one dared to act rashly. A starving camel is still bigger than a horse, even a rotten ship has three pounds of nails. After all, this was the beguiling demon queen, not an ordinary master. So, you're also powerless to protect yourselves. Chiu Yi Meng looked at Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo curiously, a trace of satisfaction flashing across her eyes. But, a few days ago, this woman in red had displayed such terrifying strength, so why was she so weak today? However, thinking about the current situation, Chiu Yi Meng couldn't help sighing. Luo Xiaoman's eyes dimmed as she completely lost focus, like the dark clouds in the sky, blocking out all light. Originally, she could have pinned her hopes on Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo, but now even the two of them were surrounded. This kind of result was something she had not expected, making her previous pleas seem like a joke. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 305 When the fight starts, you leave on your own. While the two sides were facing each other, Shan Qing Luo suddenly whispered to Yang Kai. Yang Kai frowned and seemed to be lost in thought, turning a deaf ear to her words. Hey! Shan Qing Luo nudged Yang Kai. Yang Kai suddenly came back to his senses, a strange expression on his face as he whispered, It seems we still have a chance. What? Shan Qing Luo was surprised. There's something down here. Yang Kai gently stamped the ground. Just now, he had secretly released his divine sense to see if there was anything nearby that he could use, but he didn't expect to suddenly discover that there were many life auras underground. Moreover, these life auras were densely packed and there were many of them, many of which were extremely rich in vitality. Looking around, sure enough, this place was somewhat different from other places. All around them was a dense forest, but within a radius of a thousand feet, there wasn't a single blade of grass. It was a standard circular area. There was definitely something strange down here. Although they didn't know what was down there, they could only take the risk. At the very least, they had to drag a few people down with them. Do it. Gui Yuan Ming saw Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo whispering to each other, and knew that they must be discussing an escape plan, so he didn't dare delay. With a roar, he fiercely activated his Yuan Qi and attacked with a killing move. Seeing that he had already made his move, the others naturally didn't hesitate. By me ten breaths of time. Yang Kai roared, quickly activating the star mark that he hadn't used in a long time. What are you doing? Shan Qing Luo cried out in alarm. Without hesitation, she hurriedly shook the silver bracelet on her wrist. The bracelet turned into a silver light and flew out. 
At the same time, a pink cloth fan suddenly appeared in her hand, on which there were many exquisite patterns of men and women. These men and women were completely naked. They posed in all kinds of positions and did their best to make love. These patterns were vivid and lifelike, embroidered vividly. Shan Qing Luo Yuan Qi was poured in. As her hands trembled, the men and women on the pattern seemed to come alive, and they continued to work with all their might. There were even faintly discernible murmurs and groans. A ring of dense light rippled out and enveloped everyone. Shan Qing Luo stood in the middle with a charming smile on her face. Her graceful and exquisite figure was displayed. Her soft breasts were perky and straight, and her plump buttocks were high up. Her delicate body swayed with the wind, forming an irresistible charm. A seductive aura spread out and enveloped the entire area. Everyone present, regardless of whether they were men or women, whether they were from Chiu Yi Meng's side or the ash gray cloud evil land side, all looked slightly startled. The gazes of those with slightly lower strengths were even dumbfounded, and they'd completely fallen into boundlessly charming and gentle spring. Their gazes were dazed while their expressions were dull, and they were unable to extricate themselves. Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man both let out a soft groan at the same time, their legs softening as they fell to their knees. An enchanting blush appeared on their cheeks, the men and women on the cloth fan seemed to have become living creatures at this moment, fiercely drilling into everyone's minds, clearly displaying their pleasure and beauty in front of everyone's eyes. Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man, who were still young and inexperienced girls, when they saw such a ferocious and cruel scene, how could they bear it? Gui Yuan Ming was shocked, and while urging his Yuan Qi to resist the attack of the silver bracelet, he quickly called out, be careful, it's the Qin Luo fan. The immortal ascension boundary masters also paled, each of them blushing furiously as they retreated, trying to resist the boundless charm that had invaded their minds. They obviously knew the power of this artifact. This was an artifact passed down from Shan Qin Luo's lineage, and her own name was derived from this artifact. With this Qin Luo fan, the power of the dreamscape she displayed was greatly increased. Seeing everyone retreat, Shan Qing Luo laughed again and again, her giggling like a demon's voice, causing everyone's mind to sway. Cheap slut. Gui Yuan Ming cursed, his face as red as a monkey's butt, struggling to resist, gritting his teeth as he shouted, Let's see how long you can last. When your Yuan Qi collapses, I'll definitely strip you naked and play with you in front of everyone here. Shan Qing Luo's expression became cold, and as she sent out a series of hand seals, the silver bracelet's attack became even faster. Starlight suddenly emerged, as if a star field had descended from the blue sky. Light flashed from the back of Yang Kai's hand, and as he raised his hand, a blurred star mark appeared. A fierce Yuan Qi fluctuation spread out, and even the immortal ascension boundary masters didn't dare underestimate it. Gui Yuan Ming and the others were all shocked as they looked towards Yang Kai, only to see him raise his right hand full of stars and create a star field. Shan Qing Luo's beautiful eyes flashed a strange light as she looked at Yang Kai in amazement, as if she hadn't expected him to have such a fierce killing move. If this move was used, no immortal ascension boundary master present would be able to withstand it. While everyone was still in shock, Yang Kai's right hand slowly and strangely smashed into the ground. Asterisk Kong, asterisk the ground shook violently, and Gui Yuan Ming and the others couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. They were really afraid that Yang Kai would use this move on them. Asterisk Kacha, asterisk a cracking sound spread out, and everyone looked down, only to see that with Yang Kai's fist as the center, countless cracks had suddenly appeared, spreading out in all directions at an extremely fast speed. Gui Yuan Ming frowned, faintly feeling that something was wrong. Even if the power of that move was great, it shouldn't have produced such an effect. Hurriedly releasing his divine sense to investigate, the next moment his expression changed greatly, not good, the ground is empty, and, before he could finish speaking, a loud crashing sound rang out, and the ground within a thousand meters suddenly collapsed causing everyone to involuntarily fall down. Yang Kai laughed, let's go. 
While using his divine sense to investigate, Yang Kai had already noticed that the people below had been alerted, so if he didn't leave now, it would be too late. Reaching out and grabbing Shan Qing Luo's waist, the latter gave him a disdainful look but didn't resist, the two of them quickly flying away. How could Gui Yuan Ming and the others allow them to escape? Immediately, they flew up as well, but before they could use their killing moves, a series of puffing sounds suddenly rang out from below. It seemed like something had been spat out. Ah! A blood-curdling scream was heard. It was Yuan Shi's voice. Gui Yuan Ming turned pale with fright. He hurriedly looked down and saw that there were countless huge spiders below. There were also spider eggs of different colors. Yuan Shi was wrapped in a spider and was being dragged down by a spider the size of a calf. This spider was extremely tough, even an immortal ascension boundary second stage master like Yuan Shi was unable to break free. Asterisk Pu Pu Pu, asterisk one after another, white objects were spat out from the spider's mouths, and as they flew through the air, they suddenly transformed into giant tentacles that blotted out the sky, making it impossible to dodge. After two breaths of time, most of the people had been wrapped up and fell to the ground, only a few of them were still flying through the air. But, it was still too late. Even Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo had been bound by a few of these giant tentacles and were slowly falling down. What the hell is this? Yang Kai's complexion changed greatly, while Yuan Qi madly slashed out with the Azura Sword. The Azura Sword was a heaven grade artifact, so its sharpness was not ordinary. Even if these spiders were ordinary immortal ascension boundary masters, they wouldn't be able to break free, but under the Azura Sword, they were still torn apart like silk. It's them. Shan Qin Luo looked down and couldn't help exclaiming, so it was here. What? Yang Kai asked suspiciously. What I'm looking for is down there. Shan Qin Luo's eyes flashed with a hint of joy. What you're looking for are spiders. Yang Kai was stunned, suddenly remembering that Shan Qin Luo had said her special constitution was called the Poison Widow. Wasn't the Poison Widow a spider? Oh no, these spiders are poisonous. Shan Qin Luo seemed to remember something, her beautiful face suddenly turning pale as she warned. If she had been an immortal ascension boundary ninth stage master, she wouldn't have been afraid of these spiders, but now that her strength had plummeted, there was no way she could resist the invasion of the poison. By the time she realized the situation was bad, it was already too late. Why didn't you say so earlier? Yang Kai didn't know whether to laugh or cry, also feeling that something was wrong. His whole body felt weak, unable to summon any strength, and his consciousness was rapidly fading. This is bad. Not only was he unable to escape, but he was also trapped inside. Although before he acted, Yang Kai already knew that the thing down below wasn't easy to deal with, he hadn't expected to provoke so many spiders. These eight-legged spiders, each larger than a calf, were clearly sixth-order monster beast. There were as many as twenty to thirty such monster beasts down below. But if he hadn't done so, he and Shan Qin Luo wouldn't have been able to escape the pursuit of Gui Yuan Ming and the others. Now that he had trapped them, the situation wasn't too bad. Thinking so, Yang Kai's consciousness gradually blurred. Before he completely lost consciousness, Yang Kai pushed his palms together and sent out a ray of light towards a nearby spider. With a slight smile on his face, he and Shan Qin Luo fell to the ground, both of them hugging each other. The spider seemed to be stunned for a moment before slowly crawling forward, spitting out a mass of spiders from its mouth, wrapping them up and dragging them away. After an unknown amount of time, Yang Kai faintly woke up. His body was still weak, and he couldn't even move. Layers and layers of spiders wrapped around him tightly, binding him tightly. Through the light from outside and the blurry image, Yang Kai saw many spider egg-like existences, densely packed together. At first glance, they looked familiar. Thinking about it carefully, weren't they the same as the silkworm cocoons that Shan Qin Luo had made when she was breaking through a month ago? Many spider eggs had traces of wriggling. 
Yang Kai slightly released his divine sense and immediately sensed that many powerful people had woken up and were thinking of ways to break out. But with the spider poison in their bodies, how could they get rid of it? Rhythmic bursts of hot air came from his chest, and a faint fragrance lingered at the tip of his nose. Yang Kai looked down and saw a head of soft black hair. Shan Qing Luo was snuggled up in his arms, deeply asleep. Their bodies were closely pressed together, and his hand was still on her waist. Feeling that soft and delicate body and the amazing elasticity of her chest, Yang Kai couldn't help but feel a little restless. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 306 Gently calling out to her a few times, Shan Qing Luo showed no signs of waking up. Left with no other choice, Yang Kai could only move his fingers, stroking Shan Qing Luo's smooth and tender waist, his fingers involuntarily sinking into her round and beautiful buttocks, fiercely rubbing them a few times. With her sacred buttocks being violated, Shan Qing Luo finally woke up. Involuntarily twisting her tender body, she issued a bone-chilling sound from her throat. Hearing this, Yang Kai's mind shook and he quickly stopped his movements. After that pair of watery red phoenix eyes opened, Yang Kai hurriedly reminded her, Beauty, you must not be in heat with me. Shan Qing Luo's physique was special, once she was in heat, the consequences would be unimaginable. Yang Kai did not want to be knocked out again after just waking up. Her eyes slightly confused for a moment, Shan Qing Luo finally remembered everything. Seemingly aware of Yang Kai's small movements just now, the dragon lady actually gritted her teeth and glared at him, little bastard, what did you do just now? Yang Kai grinned and shrugged, I just wanted to wake you up. Not waiting for her to react, Yang Kai changed the topic, what do we do now? Shan Qing Luo's brow wrinkled as she struggled slightly, but soon discovered that both she and Yang Kai were tightly wrapped in layers of spiders, so there wasn't much room to move. The two of them were tightly pressed together, so as soon as she tried to move, a hot and hard object pressed against her lower abdomen. Her eyelashes trembling slightly, Shan Qing Luo pursed her lips and smiled at Yang Kai. Yang Kai said seriously, it's an instinctive reaction, it's not what I want, it can only be said that beauty's charm is too great. Shan Qing Luo did not seem to be annoyed, but her face was still a little red. These spiders are very tough, it's hard to break free, Yang Kai frowned and said seriously, but my artifact can cut them open. Don't act recklessly. Shan Qing Luo hurriedly reminded him with a solemn expression, our bodies are weak now. Even if we can cut open the spider, we won't be able to escape. There are so many level 6 monster beasts outside. If we provoke them, I'm afraid we'll only die faster. Yang Kai nodded slightly. It was because of this that he didn't dare to cut open the spiders. Although he had controlled one of the rank 6 spiders before he fainted, it wasn't of much use now. He just let it stand guard outside to protect him and Shan Qing Luo. You said you came here to look for something. What is this place? This underground area was clearly a spider's nest, and it was no ordinary spider's nest. With so many level 6 monster beasts living here, as well as countless level 5 and level 4 poisonous spiders, no one would dare to lower their guard. This is the broodmother's lair. Shan Qing Luo answered softly. Her breath was like orchids, and a faint fragrance blew on Yang Kai's neck, giving him a strange feeling, my body constitution came from here. It is said that several hundred years ago, one of my ancestors accidentally came here and was bitten by a poisonous spider. After returning, his body constitution changed, and it was passed down from generation to generation. In this world, some people had very special constitutions that were different from ordinary people. Until now, Yang Kai had only seen Xia Ning Chang with the sacred spirit medicine body. And now, he had seen Shan Qing Luo with the poisonous widow body constitution. But when comparing the two, Shan Qing Luo's body constitution seemed a little evil. Most of the special constitutions were innate, and only a few could be inherited. 
the poisonous widow body constitution was, without a doubt, an inherited one. Every generation, after reaching a certain level of strength, will come here in search of something. With that thing, we can fully display the potential of our body. Shan Qing Luo continued to explain, I've never been here before, but I've heard my mother tell me the route. I didn't expect to accidentally come here this time, I don't know if this is heaven's will or not. Sighing faintly, Shan Qing Luo didn't know whether she was lucky or unlucky. Yang Kai As the two were talking, Chiu Yi Meng's voice suddenly called out. She had actually woken up from her slumber. Yang Kai looked towards the source of the voice, only to see a struggling white spider egg about three meters to his left. Elder Sister Chiu Luo Xiaoman's crying voice also came from his right. What a coincidence, both of these girls were actually by Yang Kai's side. Xiao Man, don't be afraid, don't move, don't attract the attention of those monster beasts. Chiu Yi Meng remained calm and comforted Luo Xiao Man in. Luo Xiao Man responded cleverly, no longer struggling. Yang Kai, I know you're next to me, I heard your voice. Chiu Yi Meng called out softly, in this dangerous place, she didn't dare speak too loudly. What do you want? Yang Kai responded with a grunt, he didn't have a good impression of this woman. She had come to High Heaven Pavilion in such a domineering manner, not giving him a chance to explain, and as a result, causing everyone to fall into such a predicament. Are you still angry? Chiu Yi Meng chuckled lightly, not showing the slightest trace of embarrassment, we're all in the same boat, why would a big man like you care so much about a little girl like me? Little girl? Yang Kai grinned meaningfully, Chiu family's first young lady, famous far and wide, only 21 years old, Yuan Qi Ninth Stage, the future hope of the Chiu family, the central capital's eight great families young lords all scramble for you, you're not a little girl, right? Chiu Yi Meng smiled tenderly, I didn't know you were so interested in me. What, do you like me? If you want to use a beauty trap on me, then forget it. Yang Kai curled his lips, father is holding the world's most charming woman in his arms, a single pinch and you're already wet. Who do you think you are? If you have something to say, say it quickly. Shan Qin Luo gently pinched Yang Kai, but a trace of pride flashed across her eyes. When others praised her charm, it was likely they had ulterior motives, coveting her beauty, but Yang Kai's praise was very pleasing to the ear, but the words one pinch and you're already wet, were a bit strange. You speak so harshly. Chiu Yi Meng frowned. If you don't like it, then don't tell me. I'm too lazy to waste my saliva with you. Chiu Yi Meng chuckled, but you're right, in front of elder sister Shan, Meng, Er's willowy figure is indeed unpresentable. Shan Qin Luo's beautiful eyes flashed as she whispered to Yang Kai, this little girl is quite interesting. Yang Kai responded in a low voice, I'm afraid she has some other request. Sure enough, Chiu Yi Meng said, Chiu family's Chiu Yi Meng greets elder sister Shan. A few days ago, I didn't know it was elder sister Shan's phoenix body, so I've offended you. I hope elder sister Shan won't take it to heart. Shan Qin Luo's name, Chiu Yi Meng had naturally heard of her. She was one of the six great evil kings, and although her strength was the lowest among them, she was also the youngest. In time, she would definitely be able to compete with the other five. A month ago, she didn't know her identity, but now that she knew, Chiu Yi Meng naturally didn't dare act presumptuously. He he. Shan Qin Luo giggled as she looked at Yang Kai with her beautiful eyes. Little girl, you have such a sweet mouth. It's just that you keep calling me elder sister, 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 elder sister. Chiu Yi Meng laughed dryly and said softly, How could elder sister be old? You look even younger than little sister. If we go out together, others will only think I'm older than elder sister. Shan Qin Luo's smile grew wider and wider as she shook her head. Demoness. Yang Kai took a deep breath and didn't dare to stare into her eyes again. Otherwise, 
he would do it again. Little sister Chiu sure knows how to talk. Seeing that Shan Qing Luo no longer had any intention to embarrass her, Chiu Yi Meng couldn't help breathing a sigh of relief. Even as the first young lady of the Chiu family, she had to bear a lot of pressure and was constantly on edge for fear of angering the beguiling demon queen. I wonder if little sister Chiu has anything to say. Little sister wouldn't dare. Chiu Yi Meng replied softly, Little sister just wants to ask elder sister if there is a way for elder sister to escape. Here, Shan Qing Luo was the strongest, and although she was also trapped, if there was a glimmer of hope to escape, only Shan Qing Luo could do it. Everyone else, such as Gui Yuan Ming, wasn't even considered. If elder sister can escape, can you take little sister with you? Chiu Yi Meng said cautiously, I won't ask elder sister to work for nothing. The Chiu family has a naturally occurring appearance setting bead, a naturally occurring heaven grade top rank artifact. If you wear it all year round, it can keep your face from aging. If elder sister doesn't mind, little sister can have someone send it to your house. Shan Qing Luo's beautiful eyes flashed, seemingly interested. Chiu Yi Meng was truly worthy of being the first young lady of the Chiu family. Although she was young, she was well aware of the human heart. Even if she promised Shan Qing Luo any kind of heavenly treasure or pills, she wouldn't be tempted, but this artifact that could help a woman retain her youthful appearance was something no beauty could refuse. Who didn't want to be young and never grow old? Especially a charming woman like Shan Qing Luo, she was even more afraid of her wrinkled, sallow face after a hundred years. Seeing Shan Qing Luo remain silent, Chiu Yi Meng immediately calmed down. Knowing that she had been moved, she quickly said, If elder sister has any other requests, please feel free to ask. As long as little sister is capable of it, I will agree. Really? Shan Qing Luo suddenly smiled slyly. Naturally. Good, then I want you and that little girl named Xiao Man. Chiu Yi Meng's expression froze for a moment before she forced a smile, what does elder sister mean? I have a little hooligan here who seems to like you too very much. If you can be his maidservant for a year, when I escape, I'll take you with me. Hey! Yang Kai couldn't help but poke her and say with a sullen expression, why are you dragging me into this? I don't deny having evil thoughts about them, but that's a man's nature. I won't have anything to do with them. I'm just saying. I don't have a way to escape yet. Shan Qing Luo smiled sweetly. Is that what he wants? From Chiu Yi Meng's side came a soft grinding sound. Although it was subtly suppressed, one could still hear the anger in her voice. No, that's what I want. Elder sister is really good to him. Chiu Yi Meng smiled bitterly. She really couldn't understand why the dignified beguiling demon queen would take a fancy to a little brat from High Heaven Pavilion. Moreover, the two of them seemed to have known each other for less than a month. What had happened in this one month? Please allow me to think about it, elder sister. Chiu Yi Meng bit her red lips and replied. N. Shan Qing Luo didn't force her and just nodded lightly. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 307 Inside the spider egg, Yan Kai suspiciously sized up Shan Qing Luo. With a strange expression, he said, Beauty, you wouldn't have taken a fancy to me, right? Why are you suddenly so good to me? Shan Qing Luo's face slightly reddened. She gave him a displeased look, so what? Yang Kai didn't know whether to laugh or cry, aren't you an old cow eating young grass? Ouch, ouch ouch ouch. Shan Qing Luo's lips curled into a cold smile. She twisted Yang Kai's chest without letting go. Gritting her teeth, she said, so what if I'm an old cow eating young grass? It's your good fortune that this king has taken a fancy to you. I can't afford to accept it. Yang Kai looked at her in disbelief his face full of disbelief, even if you have taken a fancy to me, I can't really do you. Why do you have to seduce and torment me? 
Shan Qin Luo's face was cold. She looked at him with a murderous gaze, you've done so many bad things to me. My body has almost been touched all over. I've already kissed you, and now you're hugging me without letting go. Are you going to go back on your word? Isn't it just touching a few times? Is there a need to blame it on me? Yang Kai smiled bitterly. With a serious expression, he said, besides, I'm so young and inexperienced. Before I met you, my body and mind were pure and flawless. You also kissed me, so if we really count it as you taking advantage of me, let's not mention it again. We're even. Little bastard, you're full of evil tricks. You're so skilled, how are you inexperienced? Shan Qing Luo looked at Yang Kai angrily. She suddenly smiled, the poisonous widow's bloodline will only fall in love with one man in her life. You've made me fall in love with you, so don't even think about running away in this life. Damn, is there still justice? Yang Kai complained incessantly. He he. Shan Qing Luo giggled. Her smile was like a flower. There was a trace of craftiness in her proud expression. At this moment, a shrill scream suddenly came from outside. Everyone who woke up had a great change in expression. They listened carefully, only to hear the sound of something being cut. Through the layers of spiders, they seemed to be able to see dark red blood splattering everywhere. Young master. Don't come out so easily. They're guarding outside. Ah. A person screamed mournfully, and soon there was no more sound. A moment later, there seemed to be the sound of something being chewed. Shan Qing Luo's beautiful face turned slightly pale. The water snake's soft and boneless body couldn't help but shrink into Yang Kai's arms. They're from the Bai family. From the right came Luo Xiao Man's slight cry and exclamation. Although this little girl's chest was quite big, her courage was quite small. For the past month, he had been fleeing in panic. His nerves had been stretched to the limit. Usually, with Chiu Yi Meng comforting her, she didn't mind, but now that she was suddenly surrounded by spiders and separated from Chiu Yi Meng, she couldn't bear the pressure. Xiao Man, don't cry, otherwise you may alarm those spiders. Chiu Yi Meng lowered her voice and anxiously called out. But how could Luo Xiaoman bear it? Although she covered her mouth with both hands, the sound of her crying grew louder and louder until an eight-legged spider the size of a calf appeared in front of her. Frightened by this, Luo Xiaoman screamed out loud and suddenly fainted. It's over. Everyone thought this woman was about to be killed by the spider. Even Yang Kai couldn't help holding his breath and carefully listening to the movements around him. Who would have thought that the eight-legged spider that had walked up to Luo Xiao Man would actually just wander around for a moment? Then it slowly walked away. Who? Chiu Yi Meng let out a sigh of relief and a moment of fear. When she regained her composure, she found that her clothes were soaked and her body was cold. It seems that as long as we don't break through the spider, it won't matter even if we speak loudly. Yang Kai said thoughtfully. That by family cultivator just now. Obviously, he had used some unknown method to escape from the spider and was now being killed. Listening to him say this, everyone couldn't help relaxing slightly, and from all directions came the sound of heavy breathing. Before this, everyone had tried their best to suppress their breathing and heartbeat. Brother Guo, Brother Guo. Yuan Shi's voice called out. I'm here. Hui Yuan Ming quickly responded, softly calling out, Is everyone all right? No. Gu Tian Luo also responded. We're just surrounded by these spiders and can't move for the time being. Yuan Shi's cold voice sounded, It's possible to break through, but Brother Guo, what do we do about those spiders outside? How are we supposed to resist? Hui Yuan Ming was also at his wit's end. Against twenty to thirty-sixth order monster beast, they only had five or six immortal ascension boundary masters, so they were no match for them. Moreover, the accuracy of these spider spray was truly incredible, so even if they could fly, they wouldn't necessarily be able to escape. 
Damn, this time we really suffered a big loss. Yuan Shirk cursed angrily, why is there a nest of spiders here? Hearing this angry voice, Shan Qin Luo chuckled and sneered, retribution. Gui Yuan Ming couldn't help cursing, cheap slut. You'd better pray that this father doesn't escape, if this father does, sooner or later I'll f asterisk ck you to death and make you beg for mercy under my crotch. Shan Qin Luo's face went cold, taking a deep breath, wanting to say something, but in the end she held back. Everyone couldn't fight right now, a woman would never be a man's opponent in a war of words, no matter what kind of foul language was thrown at her, the one to suffer would always be Shan Qin Luo. Ha ha. Seeing her remain silent, Yuan Shi also laughed, Brother Guo, that slut is known far and wide, if you go alone I'm afraid you won't be her opponent, be careful she doesn't suck you dry. Gu Tian Luo also interjected, Brother Gua is not alone, we have so many brothers here. That's right, that's right. Once we're free, we'll line up and take turns to F asterisk CK her, don't let her rest for even a moment, I want to see how long this world's most seductive woman can last. By the way, brother Yu, aren't you cultivating the yin yang replenishing technique? I don't know if it's your technique or our master's seduction technique that's better. That brother you laughed and said, in terms of cultivation technique, how could this you dare to be mentioned in the same breath as that bitch? It is said that that bitch has many beautiful men in her palace. Every day, there are many young men who have their yang qi sucked dry and died. They are carried out and thrown into the mass grave. However, if I don't use my technique, this you is confident that this slut can f asterisk ck me. Ha! <laughs> Brother Yu is so bold. Brother Ban is too kind. A few days ago, this Yu took in a few more goddaughters. All of them are virgins, pure and beautiful. Once this Yu escapes, this Yu is willing to offer up those goddaughters for the brothers to enjoy as much as they want. Brother Yu is very loyal. Gui Yuan Ming praised, although he was in prison. He couldn't help breathing heavily but with a wretched smile he said, when the time comes, we'll cripple the queen's master's cultivation and feed her an aphrodisiac. Brothers can play with brother Yu's goddaughters while appreciating her reaction. He <laughs> he, when the time comes. That woman's master will probably cry and beg us to f asterisk ck her. Play with her a thousand times, then sell her to the world's lowest brothel, let those peddlers, beggars and wanderers taste her beauty. After three or five years, the world's most charming woman will become a piece of rotten meat that even wild dogs won't be willing to smell. Ha ha ha, dirty words, the more you speak, the more disgusting they become. This group of ash grey cloud evil land masters can't escape, so they're trying to find joy in their misery. Instead, he began to tease Shan Qin Luo. Listening to these words, Shan Qin Luo's face became paler and paler, her breathing becoming heavier and heavier, her tender body trembling uncontrollably, her beautiful eyes filled with murderous intent. Obviously, she was enraged. Yang Kai also listened with a gloomy expression. I'll kill them all. Sooner or later I'll kill them all. Shan Qin Luo clenched her teeth, clenched her fists, and muttered under her breath. As the beguiling demon queen, no man dared to look her in the eye, let alone hear so many filthy words being thrown at her at once. However, this time she was like a tiger in a plane, being insulted by these little bastards under the Beast King's command. I'll help you vent your anger. Yang Kai chuckled. What? Shan Qing Luo looked up at him curiously. Just listen. Yang Kai smiled mysteriously, his expression slowly becoming cold. The group of people were still acting presumptuous, their mouths constantly spouting obscenities, but just as they were venting their frustrations, a scream suddenly rang out. Everyone's conversation came to an abrupt halt. Brother Yuan, what happened to you? Gui Yuan Ming turned pale with fright. He recognized that the voice belonged to Yuan Shi. He shouted, but there was no response. Brother Yuan. Several people called out, but Yuan Shi still did not respond. 
An ominous feeling slowly shrouded everyone's heads, but before they could figure out what was happening, another scream rang out. This time it was brother you, he screamed, get lost, I didn't go out, how could I be attacked if I stayed here? As he spoke, brother you struck out with a martial skill. This time it was a disaster, the eight-legged spiders from all directions heard the commotion, all crawling towards him, brother you did not even have time to react before he was completely dismembered. Everyone kept quiet out of fear, no one dared to speak again. Shan Qing Luo's beautiful eyes lit up, she glanced suspiciously at Yang Kai, not knowing if all this had anything to do with him. Yang Kai grinned and said softly, it's not over yet. As he spoke, a panicked shout came from the other side, Brother Ban, there's a spider over there. What? As he screamed, Brother Ban didn't want to just sit there and wait for his death. In a panic, he circulated his true essence and tore the spider apart violently. Just as his head popped out, a spider leg as sharp as a knife chopped down. His vision blurred, his head rolled to the ground, blood spurting out like a fountain. What's going on? Gui Yuan Ming cried out involuntarily. He thought that there would be no problem speaking, but he did not expect to attract the attention of the spiders. There was a movement in front of him, through the hazy white spider, Gui Yuan Ming saw a giant creature standing in front of him, it was clearly a calf-sized level 6 monster beast. Everyone, these spiders are starting to kill people, let's go. Gui Yuan Ming did not understand, he roared loudly, broke through the spider with a bang, and exchanged blows with the eight-legged spider in front of him, using the force to roll and fly up into the sky. Seeing Gui Yuan Ming so decisive, the others did not dare to hesitate, they all used their own methods to escape and followed closely behind him. Puff, 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 below them, twenty to thirty level six monster beast watched covetously, all of them spitting spiders into the air, those who flew up one by one, but before they could fly far, they were tied up again and fell to the ground like dumplings. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 308 In the blink of an eye, everyone was tied up again. The calf-sized eight-legged spiders swayed their huge bodies and walked over to the group of cultivators, spitting out their spiders and wrapping them up before slowly pulling them back. Seeing that their lives were not in danger for the time being, the frightened crowd couldn't help breathing a sigh of relief. They really couldn't understand why one of the spiders had just started a massacre. But before they could completely relax, the same spider that had just killed them suddenly walked up to them, raised its sharp foreleg high, and stabbed down fiercely. Asterisk poo, asterisk blood splashed and screams rang out as Gui Yuan Ming's body was directly penetrated. He struggled and wriggled as he screamed. The spider no longer cared about him and allowed him to be dragged away by the other spiders, soon leaving behind a trail of blood on the ground. Not only him, but all of the ash gray cloud evil land cultivator had a large hole poked in their bodies by this spider. A few of them were unlucky and died on the spot while those who didn't die were pale with fright. Screams rang out endlessly as one bloody mark after another appeared on the ground, a shocking sight to behold. Chiu Yi Meng's pair of beautiful eyes were filled with horror as her expression filled with horror. When she heard Gu Yuan Ming's shout just now, she almost couldn't hold herself back and rushed out. If she had really rushed out, she would most likely have ended up like them. Fortunately, before leaving, she had checked the movements of Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo. Since they hadn't moved, Chiu Yi Meng had also gritted her teeth and stayed behind, ready to pin all her hopes on Shan Qing Luo. Now it seemed that she had made the right choice. The remaining ash gray cloud evil land cultivator was dragged back, and all the monster beasts surrounded one of its companions whose forelegs were covered in blood. It was unknown why it had suddenly decided to kill these people. After sizing them up for a while, these monster beasts gradually dispersed. Why? Gui Yuan Ming clutched his stomach. Even if he circulated his secret art, he still couldn't stop the blood from flowing, his voice gradually becoming weaker, why is this happening? That beast seemed to have specifically targeted the ash-gray cloud evil land cultivator, 
but none of the others had touched it. This made Gui Yuan Ming unable to understand. This is retribution, ha ha ha. Yang Kai's wild laughter came from the other side. You did this? Shan Qing Luo looked at Yang Kai in amazement, her tone full of disbelief. Yang Kai's eyes as eyes as just a moment ago. Those people had suffered a tragic attack, if one were to say that it had nothing to do with Yang Kai, Shan Qing Luo would never believe it. However, she hadn't seen him do anything. So how of this of the beasts of the ash grey evil land cultivator? Satisfied? Yang Kai grinned meaningfully. Shan Qing Luo's pair of enchanting phoenix eyes flashed with a strange light as she stared deeply at Yang Kai, unblinking, a trace of emotion flashing across her eyes. Suddenly, she tiptoed slightly and pressed her pair of red lips against his. Oh! Yang Kai was caught off guard, and Shan Qing Luo's hands involuntarily tightened. The dragon lady's willowy waist fiercely bent, as if she wanted to melt her whole body into Yang Kai's. Her pair of red lips were thin, tender, and crystal clear. Not only did they look captivating, but they also tasted the same bone chilling. Sensing the soft and fragrant taste, Shan Qing Luo hurriedly released him. Looking at Yang Kai with a smile, she said, You can't stay here for too long, in case you really, really fall in love with me, that wouldn't be good. Yang Kai's expression became bitter as he licked his lips, damn it. I knew you'd never be able to satisfy your desires. Poor me, such a young and strong man, what can I do if I fall into your hands? Don't act like you're innocent. Shan Qing Luo's tone was full of annoyance, other men don't even dare to look at me, you've already taken advantage of me. Let me say this first, I won't be responsible for you. Yang Kai said with a straight face. He said seriously. What are you doing? Chiu Yi Meng suddenly asked softly. Talking about love. Shameless. Chiu Yi Meng hurriedly remained silent, her face slightly red, thinking to herself that it was no wonder she heard a light panting coming from next door. Time passed, the sun rose and the moon set, several days had passed since they had been caught by these spiders, but the people trapped inside still hadn't found a way to escape. Yang Kai and Shan Qin Luo were still hugging each other. This dragon lady was truly worthy of her reputation. Sometimes, with just a single movement, breath, or glance, she could seduce Yang Kai, making him unable to stop himself. However, due to her special physique, Yang Kai not only couldn't act recklessly, but he also couldn't tease her, so his days were extremely difficult. Chiu Yi Meng remained calm and didn't show the slightest worry or panic from beginning to end. On the other hand, Luo Xiao Man washed her face with tears every day, constantly in fear. Bai Yun Feng had also woken up, but after learning about the current situation, he had remained silent, no one knew what he was thinking. The cultivator of the ash grey cloud evil land had all died due to excessive blood loss, their deaths extremely miserable. On this day, Yang Kai, while using his divine sense to investigate, suddenly felt an extremely tyrannical presence. The vitality of this existence was even higher than that of the Sixth Order Poison Spiders. It had suddenly appeared, as if it had always been there, but had only just awakened. Before Yang Kai could warn Shan Qing Luo, a feeling like the sky was falling and the earth was splitting apart descended from the sky. Suddenly, Everyone felt as if there was a pair of eyes staring at them from above. Under the gaze of these eyes, no matter who it was, they all felt a sense of insignificance and inferiority, as if they couldn't compete with them at all. Yang Kai's complexion changed greatly, and he couldn't help urging his Yuan Qi. Shan Qing Luo suddenly shouted, Don't move. What's wrong? Seeing her expression, as if she knew something, Yang Kai asked anxiously. It's her. Shan Qing Luo's beautiful eyes trembled slightly, her expression extremely complex. Who? Spider Mother. Shan Qing Luo replied softly, Seventh Order Monster Beast. None of us are its match. Seventh Order. Yang Kai exclaimed. Yes. 
Shan Qing Luo nodded solemnly, otherwise, why do you think this group of monster beasts can live so comfortably? A sixth order monster beast's monster core is also very valuable. There are so many sixth order monster beasts here, if it wasn't for the spider mother, they would have been wiped out long ago. With a seventh order monster beast here, even if someone accidentally stepped into this place and wanted to attack the sixth order monster beast, they would have to consider whether they were strong enough. However, the spider mother spends most of her time laying eggs in a deep sleep, so unless someone attacks here, she won't bother with anything, Shan Qing Luo explained softly, there's a spider stone statue here, look over there. Following the direction she pointed, Yan Kai indeed saw a hazy stone statue standing not far away. This stone statue was incomparably huge, it should be in the shape of an eight-legged spider. The spider mother usually lives here, and the thing I want to take is the venom secreted by the spider mother. In this world, only women of the poison widow bloodline can safely enter that stone statue. Then, doesn't that mean the spider mother can sense your bloodline? Yes, that should be the case. Shan Qing Luo nodded slightly, it was also her first time here, so she wasn't too clear about the specific situation. Then you should discuss with it, see if it can let us go. Yang Kai suggested. I'll try. Shan Qing Luo bit her red lips, she also didn't have much confidence. Closing her eyes, she tried to communicate with the spider mother according to the method left behind by her mother. A moment later, a flirtatious voice suddenly entered everyone's ears, even Kai Yang could hear it clearly. H.M. You're a woman of the poison widow bloodline. Yang Kai's expression changed, he twisted to look around, but couldn't see anything. That voice sounded soft, as if a beautiful woman was whispering in his ear, it couldn't help but make his heart flutter. Shan Qing Luo hurriedly reminded, don't panic, the spider mother is communicating with me through divine sense. Yang Kai's face revealed a look of shock. A monster beast that could communicate with people through divine sense. This was the first time he had encountered such a thing, could a monster beast do this? At least a rank 6 monster beast wouldn't be able to, but this spider mother was a rank 7 monster beast, maybe it really did have this ability. Shan Qing Luo had already opened her mouth to reply, yes. This junior greets the spider mother. Who is Han Fei Yen to you? The spider mother gently asked. She is my mother. Shan Qing Luo was also very careful, not daring to be the slightest bit careless. It's been thirty years. This generation has already grown up, but why is your strength so low? Shan Qing Luo bitterly smiled, there was a problem, I should be able to recover in a few days. Yes. The spider mother softly replied, after a while she said, since you can find this place, then come to my place to take the things and leave. In any case, your bloodline has some relationship with me. Seeing her so easy to talk to, Shan Qing Luo couldn't help but look happy, she quickly said, forgive this junior, but this junior came with the person beside me, can you let him leave with me? Yang Kai looked at her in surprise, he didn't expect this woman to be so righteous. Humph! The spider mother coldly snorted, these people destroyed my nest, and they still have delusions of leaving? Apart from you, everyone else will die. Spider mother, please have mercy. There's no need to say more. Shan Qing Luo grit her teeth and glanced over at Yang Kai, a trace of struggle flashing across her face, but soon she resolutely said, Please have mercy, spider mother, I only want to take him away. Impudence. The spider mother's voice sounded a little annoyed, and even the eight-legged spiders outside began to spit out spider silk, clearly not friendly. Forget it, I'll give you five days to think about it carefully. After five days, I will wake up again, at that time, if you don't leave. Humph, don't even think about leaving. The spider mother said coldly, no longer moving. At the same time, the haze that had been pressing down on everyone's heads disappeared, apparently it had fallen into a deep sleep again. Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiaoman's eyes trembled. 
The conversation between Shan Qin Luo and the spider mother had reached their ears, causing them to be as shocked as Yang Kai. None of them had expected such a powerful monster beast to exist in this world. Bai Yin Feng, on the other hand, suddenly screamed, We're going to die in five days. Before the spider mother appeared, although everyone was in a state of panic, the spiders hadn't done anything to them, so there was still some hope, but now that the five-day deadline was right in front of them, who could accept it? Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 309 In his panic, Bai Yun Feng suddenly shouted, Yang Kai, father won't let you go even if I become a ghost. What's wrong with you? Yang Kai shouted angrily. He he. Bai Yun Feng laughed bitterly, his voice sharp, if you hadn't penetrated the ground, how could we have fallen here and been caught by this group of spiders? If I hadn't penetrated the ground, you would have been killed by Gui Yuan Ming and his people long ago. How could you still be alive? Yang Kai sneered, knowing that Bai Yun Feng's mind was no longer clear. Father is a member of the Bai family, would those bastards dare kill me? Bai Yun Feng roared, as long as I reported my true identity, they would only take me to the Bai family to ask for a reward, how could they harm my life? You may not have to die, but if young Lady Chiu and young Lady Luo fell into those people's hands, he <laughs> he, I'm afraid they would lose their innocence. I think they would rather be trapped in a spider's web than be caught by those bastards. Their innocence has nothing to do with me, as long as father is alive it's fine. Bai Yun Feng roared without thinking. As soon as these words left his mouth, he seemed to realize that he shouldn't have said such words and suddenly fell silent, not uttering a single word. Bai Yun Feng. I didn't expect you to think like that. Luo Xiaoman's pained voice sounded, filled with extreme disappointment and disgust. A woman's innocence was sometimes more important than her life. At that time, if she had really been caught by the ash gray cloud evil lands cultivator, Luo Xiao Man would have taken her own life before being humiliated. Xiao Yi Meng faintly said, Every man for himself, Xiao Man, you don't need to worry about it. Her voice was like an ancient well, without the slightest hint of emotion. Greedy for life and afraid of death, the Bai family really are spineless. Luo Xiao Man sneered. I'm too lazy to argue with you. Bai Yun Feng snorted. This time, he had completely torn apart all pretense of cordiality with these two women. Although it wasn't to the extent of turning his blade against them, even if they could escape this place, it was likely they would never be together again. Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo both stared at each other speechlessly. After a long silence, Yang Kai frowned and said, If you want to leave, you can leave now, right? That spider mother didn't have any intention of keeping you here. Shan Qin Luo shook her head slowly. But it won't let you go. Yang Kai's expression suddenly became strange as he stared at her seriously, hesitating for a moment before saying, Our friendship doesn't seem to be that good. Just like Chiu Yi Meng said, Every man for himself, the devil takes the hindmost. Shan Qin Luo just looked at him with a smile. You can't be serious, right? Yang Kai was slightly moved. I told you, a woman of the poison widow bloodline will only fall in love with one man in her lifetime. Do you think I'm lying to you? Shan Qing Luo sighed faintly and said, If it weren't for you leaving your aura in my knowledge see last time, I wouldn't have cared if you lived or died. You little bastard, you're both a rogue and a pervert. You should have been killed long ago to prevent you from ruining those innocent girls, but now that things have come to this, what can I do? Unless Shan Qing Luo didn't want her secret art to reach the grand accomplishment stage. The seeds of love had already taken root and sprouted in her heart, it was only a matter of time before they grew. When a woman's feelings were full, she would need to spend a night with the man she loved. Moreover, women of the poison widow bloodline, once they fell in love, they were more unforgettable than other women. Therefore, the women of this bloodline had always been extremely sad. On one hand, it was their undying love, on the other hand, it was their secret art to the grand accomplishment stage. 
Even if they abandoned their secret art because of their love, they couldn't resist the attraction and temptation between them. Shan Qing Luo's mother, Han Fei Yen, had inadvertently made love with her father one night, and after waking up, her lover had died beside her, causing her to suffer for the rest of her life. Yang Kai's expression was extremely dignified as he stared deeply into Shan Qing Luo's eyes, as if he wanted to see through her heart and look directly into the depths of her memories. Shan Qing Luo smiled faintly and without any hesitation, took the initiative to release the defenses of her knowledge Si and softly said, If you don't believe me, you can see for yourself. Yang Kai also didn't hesitate, his divine sense directly entering her knowledge Si. It was a boundless sea, just like the last time he saw it. Above the sea, Shan Qing Luo's delicate body stood against the wind, smiling as she stared at Yang Kai's divine sense, softly saying, Don't touch me, this is my soul, if you touch it, the consequences will be unimaginable. I know, Yang Kai responded in a deep voice. If the two souls were to merge, perhaps they would be able to taste the taste of soul intercourse that was thousands of times more wonderful than soul intercourse, but if their minds were not stable, they would only lose themselves in soul intercourse, instantly turning into an idiot. Yang Kai was also clear about the stakes involved. Shan Qing Luo waved her hands, sending a beam of light into Yang Kai's divine sense. Prying into the information contained in these beams of light, Yang Kai gained insight into all of this dragon lady's emotional experiences and all of her thoughts, leaving nothing behind and no possibility of concealment. He also saw the special characteristics of her bloodline physique and the dangers of her secret art, and realized his own fate in the future. Scene after scene flashed before his eyes, as if he was experiencing it himself, vividly. After a long time, Yang Kai slowly withdrew from her knowledge sea. Their eyes met and Shan Qing Luo smiled tenderly, Do you believe me now? Yang Kai nodded with a heavy expression, Never would he have thought that this dragon lady's secret art would be so special. With a bitter smile, Yang Kai said, Should I say I'm honored or unlucky? It was true that she had feelings for him, but in the end, it was also true that she wanted his life. Shan Qing Luo's expression darkened slightly, softly saying, None of the women in our bloodline would really want to kill the man they like. But this kind of attraction is simply irresistible, no matter how far apart they are, they can still be pulled to each other's side, and in the midst of chaos and unconsciousness, they can use their pure bodies to kill the man they like. Although it was said that dying under a peony flower would be romantic even as a ghost, this was only a saying. When the time came, no man would be able to die with a smile. Have you ever thought of resolving this? Of course we have, but we don't know what to do. Shan Qing Luo slowly shook her head. Forget it, let's not talk about this for now. Yang Kai was somewhat dispirited and did not want to talk about it anymore. And since you don't want to leave me behind, we should first think of a way to escape from here. Wait five days, when the spider mother wakes up, then I'll talk to it. And if it doesn't work? Yang Kai frowned. If it doesn't work, then I'll leave. Shan Qing Luo pursed her lips and smiled, not a trace of worry on her face. Yang Kai's eyes flashed, softly asking, If you can recover your full strength, can you leave this place? Of course I can leave. Shan Qing Luo nodded, but right now I'm only in the Yuan Qi third stage, if I want to fully recover, it will take at least a few months. I might have a way, Yang Kai grinned meaningfully, peeking into Shan Qing Luo's thoughts and felt a lot more at ease with her. This dragon lady was known for her debauchery, her secret art, and the artifacts she used were all unsightly, but in fact, before meeting him, her mind and body were completely blank. She knew more about the matters between men and women than most people, but she had never personally experienced it. What method do you have? Shan Qing Luo asked curiously. Yang Kai stretched out his hand, holding a small piece of myriad drug cream, open your mouth. Shan Qing Luo glared at him, not knowing what he was trying to do, but she still opened her thin lips. The myriad drug cream was directly thrown in. Circulate your secret art and refine it. 
There was no need for Yang Kai to say anything, the moment the myriad drug cream entered her mouth, Shan Qing Luo's face filled with amazement, quickly closing her eyes and circulating her secret art. The main reason her strength had dropped was because of the backlash from her secret art. In the end, it was just an internal injury. With the help of such a small piece of myriad drug cream, this kind of injury should be able to be healed. The spider mother would wake up again in five days, but with the help of the myriad drug cream, Shan Qing Luo's recovery would definitely not take that long. With nothing to do, Yang Kai decided to rest and preserve his strength. As time passed, the aura and Yuan Qi fluctuations coming from Shan Qing Luo's body became more and more violent. Obviously, she was quickly recovering. Perceiving the changes here, Chiu Yi Meng, who had been silent all this time, suddenly raised her head and looked over, her pair of beautiful eyes flashing, a look of struggle on her face, unknown as to what she was thinking. After being trapped for so many days, her strength had long since been restored, but with so many sixth-order monster beasts outside, even if she could break through the spider web, she didn't dare act rashly. Shan Qing Luo's actions had undoubtedly given her a glimmer of hope. However, when she remembered the conditions she had proposed before, Chiu Yi Meng couldn't help but hesitate. She was the first young lady of the Chiu family, how could she become a maidservant to some nameless junior? Not to mention her, even Luo Xiao Man's identity was much nobler than that young man's. If this matter were to spread out, where would the Chiu family in Purple Fern Valley's face be placed? Moreover, it was only for a year. In a year, who knew what that rogue bastard would do? Three days later, Shan Qing Luo suddenly opened her eyes, a brilliant light flashing across them, and her soft and plump body seemed to contain an extremely terrifying power. You've recovered? Yang Kai hurriedly asked. N. Shan Qing Luo nodded happily, looking at Yang Kai with great interest. I didn't know you had such a treasure. After praising him, she reached out and pinched Yang Kai's chest, fiercely twisting it, grinding her teeth, if you have such a good thing, why didn't you use it on me before? You bastard, it seems you're still on guard against me. Yang Kai's expression became awkward as he let out a dry laugh. If he hadn't seen through her thoughts, how could Yang Kai have dared to allow this dragon lady to recover her strength? Since you've recovered, let's hurry up and leave. Yang Kai squeezed her little hand. Shan Qing Luo hesitated for a moment before saying, Since we've come here, I want to extract the spider mother's venom as well. Otherwise, if I take you away this time, it will definitely anger the spider mother and we won't be able to come here again. Are you sure? A little bit. Do you have a spider under your control? N. Let it create some chaos. Good. Yang Kai nodded, and then issued an order to the spider he controlled. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 310 A moment later, the spider suddenly went berserk and attacked its companions. Seeing this, the other spiders hurriedly rushed towards the battlefield. Shan Qing Luo waved her hand and directly cut a hole in the spider's body, her figure flashing and disappearing. Her voice reached Yang Kai's ears, don't move, wait for me to come back. Yang Kai naturally didn't move, his expression calm as he carefully observed the situation outside. The spider he was controlling was currently fighting with its companions. The sixth order monster beast had already regained much of its consciousness. Although it wasn't much, at least it was capable of some simple thinking. The spiders who were being attacked didn't seem to understand why their companion had suddenly gone crazy, just as they didn't understand why it had killed so many ash grey cloud evil land cultivator before. After resisting for a moment, the spiders seemed to have communicated with each other and suddenly decided not to hold back, as if their companion had already lost its mind and could no longer be saved. In just a short time, the Sixth Order monster beast controlled by Yang Kai was killed. Only then did the gathered spiders scatter like birds and beasts. Yang Kai. Chiu Yi Meng suddenly called out. Yang Kai's face remained cold and he didn't respond. 
Has elder sister Shan recovered her strength? Chiu Yi Meng asked eagerly. There was still no response. Chiu Yi Meng smiled bitterly, Yang Kai, you're not such a stingy man, are you? I admit that I've offended you before, is it not enough for me to apologize to you? No need, young lady Chiu's identity is noble, I can't afford it. Yang Kai said. Chiu Yi Meng chuckled, good, good, I was wrong, I really was wrong. I shouldn't have brought people to your high heaven pavilion to cause trouble. In fact, I didn't do anything to you. You're so strong, if we really fought, who knows who would win and who would lose. Before this, I really couldn't believe that a small sect could cultivate a disciple like you. Don't try to flatter me, it sounds disgusting. Huh, you and I are both understanding people. I won't beat around the bush and annoy you. Chiu Yi Meng chuckled and said, When elder sister Shan comes back, can you ask her to take me and Xiao Man out? Don't worry, as long as she agrees, my Chiu family will definitely repay her generously. It's her business whether she saves you or not. I can't interfere. Yang Kai frowned. It can't be, I see that your relationship is so good. The beguiling demon queen has never been so intimate with a man before. If you can put in a good word for us. Sister Shan definitely won't leave you to die. Chiu Yi Meng's voice softened, as long as you don't make me or Xiao Man your maidservants, you can set any other conditions. Even if you want to marry a young girl from a side branch of my Chiu family. I can also make the decision to agree. He <laughs> he. But in front of Sister Shan, I think it's best if you don't mention this matter, lest she gets jealous. Yang Kai showed an impatient look, I already told you. Whether she saves you or not is her business, I can't even protect myself right now. What's the point of talking so much nonsense with me? Chiu Yi Meng smiled bitterly, her eyes filled with tears, but I can only pin my hopes on you. If you don't help, I'm afraid Xiao Man and I won't be able to escape this calamity. As she spoke, her voice became choked with sobs, do you really have the heart to watch us die? Knowing that she was just putting on an act to gain his sympathy, Yang Kai couldn't help feeling disgusted. He no longer wanted to talk to her. Yang Kai had never had a good impression of women who played mind games. Yang Kai, Yang Kai. Chiu Yi Meng didn't give up and continued to call out softly over and over again. Although the conversation between the two was quiet, Luo Xiao Man, who was not far away, naturally heard it clearly. Seeing Yang Kai act so ruthlessly, Luo Xiao Man couldn't help feeling defeated. Helplessly, she whispered, Elder Sister Chiu, what should we do? Chiu Yi Meng sighed and gave up trying to move Yang Kai, smiling bitterly, let's wait, we can't really die here. At that moment. A fragrant wind suddenly blew over and a bright red figure appeared in front of Yang Kai. With a wave of her hand, the spider binding Yang Kai was cut open. Let's go. Shan Qing Luo said nervously, grabbing Yang Kai with one hand and flying upwards. Yang Kai also followed with a dignified expression. Under the investigation of his divine sense, the unique vitality of the spider mother was rapidly awakening. Apparently, Shan Qin Luo's actions had awakened it. Elder Sister Shan. Chiu Yi Meng hurriedly called out, gritting her teeth, her face showing a trace of hesitation. However, she also knew that this was a rare opportunity. If she let Shan Qin Luo go, she and Luo Xiao Man would really have no chance to escape. Elder Sister Shan, I agree to your previous conditions, please take me and Xiao Man with you. Chiu Yi Meng shouted. Shan Qing Luo frowned at her, waving her hand and sending out two pink ribbons, directly wrapping around Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man and shooting them high up into the sky. Seeing that Shan Qing Luo didn't leave them behind, whether it was Chiu Yi Meng or Luo Xiao Man, both of them felt a sense of joy. You failed your own bloodline, how dare you not listen to my advice, where do you think you're going? The spider mother's angry voice rang out, no longer containing the slightest hint of charm. Now, she was like an enraged madwoman. As she spoke, 
two white and tough spider silk threads flew through the air. These two spider silk threads were incredibly fast, arriving in front of them almost instantaneously. Shan Qing Luo and Yang Kai both hurriedly tried to block them. The Yuan Qi collided, and the two spider silk threads were blocked, but the aftermath of the collision severed one of the ribbons in Shan Qing Luo's hands, the other end of which happened to be tied to Luo Xiaoman. A cry of alarm rang out as Luo Xiaoman's beautiful eyes filled with panic, her heart instantly filled with horror. Yang Kai's eyes flashed and his hand moved quickly, wrapping around Chiu Yi Meng's waist and sending her flying towards Luo Xiaoman. Before she could fall, Chiu Yi Meng quickly reached out and grabbed Luo Xiaoman's clothes, lifting her up. Elder Sister Chiu. Luo Xiaoman exclaimed in a trembling voice, tears rolling out of her eyes as her chest heaved up and down, her pretty face filled with panic. I've caught you, don't worry, I won't let go. Chiu Yi Meng smiled at her, a trace of fear flashing across her face. Shan Qing Luo stared at Yang Kai meaningfully, her lips curling into a soul-stirring smile. Yang Kai simply shrugged his shoulders. That kick just now had been done without any consideration, it was purely an instinctive reaction. Suddenly, Bai Yunfeng's shout came from below, Take me with you. You bunch of sluts, how could you leave me here alone? I won't let you go even if I become a ghost. Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiaoman's faces filled with disgust as their expressions became cold. A long road tests a horse's strength, and a long time reveals a person's heart. Bai Yin Feng had given the two women a good impression before, and although he wasn't particularly outstanding, he was still the young lord of a first-class family. He had both wealth and power, and his own strength wasn't low either. There were also many young women chasing after him. But this time, he had completely exposed the dark side of his heart. This man is worse than dog shit. Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man didn't even have any sympathy for him. In a small lake, the surface of which was sparkling and clear, the water was so clear that one could vaguely see the aquatic plants and fish swimming happily. A bonfire was lit and Yang Kai was roasting a few fat fish from the lake. Luo Xiaoman and Chiu Yi Meng sat next to him, breathing in the clear and free air while looking at him with complicated expressions. Suddenly, a sound came from the lake and Shan Qing Luo gracefully emerged from her bath. Her skin was like the most exquisite silk with a seductive luster, and her snow-white skin was faintly tinged with a strange red light as she slowly walked over with her bare feet. Her demeanor was magnificent, her thin and tender red lips lightly pursed, and most of her body was exposed to the air. Only her chest and the fragrant grass between her legs were covered by her undergarments, faintly discernible, giving her a wonderful appearance. Such a seductive and enchanting appearance, not only did Yang Kai's heartbeat accelerate, even Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man blushed slightly, their breathing becoming slightly rapid. The three of them quickly averted their gazes and silently cursed this enchanting seductress. He he. Shan Qing Luo giggled as she took in the gazes of the three of them. Arriving at the lakeside, she put on her clothes, half covering her body, step by step, snuggled up to Yang Kai and sat down beside him. Can you be a little more discreet? Yang Kai frowned. Do I need to be discreet in front of you? Shan Qing Luo giggled, we've touched, kissed, what's the point of being so particular? Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man both looked stunned as they stared at Yang Kai in surprise, their eyes gradually becoming strange. Although Chiu Yi Meng had previously felt that the relationship between Yang Kai and Shan Qing Luo was not simple, she had never seen it with her own eyes and didn't know how close they were. Sitting next to him in such a disheveled state, if she wasn't in love with him, what woman would be so shameless? Is the world's most charming woman really taken? Chiu Yi Meng was slightly dazed as she looked at Yang Kai again. Although his appearance was sloppy and his strength wasn't bad, in the end, he was still just a young boy, only a Yuan Qi fourth stage cultivator. How could he capture the heart of the beguiling demon queen? Chiu Yi Meng stared at him in amazement, unable to recover for a long time. 
Yang Kai rolled his eyes and didn't look at the sight of Shan Qing Luo Xiao Man, instead focusing on grilling the fish. As the fragrance of the meat filled the air, Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man's stomachs couldn't help grumbling, the two women couldn't help blushing. The two of them had been chased by the ash gray cloud Evil Lands cultivator for more than a month and hadn't had much time to rest. They were both tired and hungry, physically and mentally exhausted, and then they were captured by the spider. Many thanks to Elder Sister Shan for saving us this time. Chiu Yi Meng squeezed out a smile and thanked her. Shan Qing Luo smiled sweetly and said, Between you and me, it's just a transaction, there's no need to thank me. That being said, if it weren't for Elder Sister Shan, Xiao Man and I would have been doomed. Chiu Yi Meng shook her head gently. After saying so, she glanced over at Yang Kai with a complicated expression and reluctantly said, Thank you too. At the last moment, if it weren't for him, Chiu Yi Meng definitely wouldn't have been able to reach Luo Xiao Man's side in time. Yang Kai's face remained cold and he didn't respond. Chiu Yi Meng suddenly felt bitter. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 311 Half a month later, Fragrance City. This was a prosperous city that was not inferior to any other city in the outside world, and it was also where the beguiling Demon Queen's palace was located. The ash gray cloud evil land covered a vast area and was divided into six major blocks, each of which was guarded by six evil kings. With Fragrance City as the center, the land within a thousand kilometer radius was Shan Qin Luo's territory. Over the past half a month, Shan Qin Luo had led Yang Kai, Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man through the territories controlled by the other two evil kings, carefully returning to this place. After stepping into Fragrant City, no matter who it was, they couldn't help breathing a sigh of relief. After half a month of getting along, not only had Yang Kai's perception of the ash gray cloud evil land changed, but even Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man's impressions of the ash gray cloud evil land had been subverted. According to rumors, the ash gray cloud evil land was filled with evil cultivators and evil demons. Any random person one encountered was an unforgivable traitor. However, according to Shan Qin Luo's introduction, the ash gray cloud evil land was not as bad as the rumors said. At the very least, this was the case in the territory she controlled. It was undeniable that there were indeed many evil cultivators in the ash gray cloud evil land, but even more of them were honest people. There were many cultivators who had committed crimes in their own sect and were forced to enter the ash gray cloud evil land. There were also some who had offended great sects they couldn't afford to offend and had entered the ash gray cloud evil land to avoid disaster. There were also some who, because their secret arts were relatively dark, were classified as evil demons by the world and were like rats crossing the street. It could be said that many of the cultivators in the ash gray cloud evil land had their own bitter past and were not necessarily full of evil. The world only recognizes the light and refuses to acknowledge the darkness in their hearts, so we are called evil, huh, how ridiculous. Shan Qing Luo said helplessly as she spoke. Although she was one of the six great evil kings and ruled over a thousand kilometer radius, she still couldn't change the deep-rooted beliefs and views of the world. Yang Kai remembered the words of the old demon. What was a person? What was a demon? Humans and demons were one family. Everyone had evil in their hearts. After entering the city, the bustling city made Yang Kai's eyes light up, and he clicked his tongue in wonder. If he didn't clearly know that he was inside the ash gray cloud evil land, Yang Kai would have thought that this place was just the same as the city outside. Everything here was no different from the cities outside. Many ordinary peddlers and runners lived here, and the cultivator who came and went was like a school of carps crossing the river. Most people did not bully the weak when interacting with these ordinary people. Occasionally, there would be a few who looked perverse. The cultivator covered in evil chi also followed the rules of Fragrant City, not daring to act rashly. Inside the city, from time to time, there would be some cultivator in black robes walking by. 
These people were the law enforcement team responsible for maintaining order in Fragrance City. Anyone who did bad things in Fragrance City would be mercilessly attacked by these law enforcement teams. Therefore, in the entire Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land, Fragrance City was the safest city. Under the effective management of Shan Qing Luo, this city was becoming more and more prosperous. There were very few people who committed crimes here. The queen, master, at this moment was wearing a black veil, not revealing her true face as she led the way. Walking at a leisurely pace. Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man followed behind her, secretly observing the scene in the city while secretly admiring her. To be able to keep the entire city so peaceful, Shan Qing Luo's methods were not simple. As they walked, Yang Kai's footsteps suddenly came to a halt. Noticing this, Shan Qing Luo turned to look at him and asked, What's wrong? Yang Kai grinned, Beauty, as the saying goes, all good things must come to an end. Let's part ways here. Although it was a very happy thing to win the favor of a beauty, Yang Kai was really afraid that one day Shan Qing Luo would not be able to hold herself back and would pluck him. Moreover, he had been separated from Su Yen for some time now, so Yang Kai wanted to inquire about Su Yen's situation. Hearing him say this, Shan Qing Luo's beautiful eyes flashed as she understood what he was thinking. Grinning, she walked back and grabbed Yang Kai's arm, exhaling deeply, Do you think you can get away? You don't need to be so enthusiastic. Yang Kai's expression became bitter, the thing he was most worried about had happened. He was afraid that Shan Qin Luo would not let him go. On the way back, he had tried to escape many times, but every time before he could even begin to act, she had seen through him. Shan Qin Luo was so powerful, if she really wanted to force him to stay, there was nothing he could do. It's chaotic outside, even if you go out, it won't be safe. You should stay here with me for a while. How long? Depends on my mood, he he, Yang Kai's face became even more gloomy. If he stayed, wouldn't he become this dragon lady's gigolo? Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man both looked at him gloatingly, feeling a burst of pleasure in their hearts. Being bound by Shan Qing Luo, unable to move, this dragon lady still put on a very cute appearance, holding on to Yang Kai's arm and gently snuggling up to Yang Kai. Fortunately, she was wearing a veil, otherwise, if someone were to see this scene, Fragrant City would be in chaos. After a while, they arrived at Shan Qing Luo's palace. This palace was built magnificently, covering an extremely large area. It was decorated with magnificent jade buildings, flying dragons and phoenixes, creating a magnificent atmosphere. After entering, Yang Kai was surprised to find that this huge palace was very quiet, as if there weren't many people living here. Walking through the corridors, the sound of small bridges and flowing water could be heard, giving off a very poetic and picturesque feeling. In my palace, besides a few maidservants, there is no one else. It has always been deserted, so you don't need to be so cautious. Shan Qing Luo explained softly. After returning to the palace, she was completely relaxed, reaching out to untie the veil on her face and slowly stretching, revealing her beautiful curves. Who is it? A tender voice called out as a purple figure quickly approached. It's me. Shan Qing Luo replied softly. The person who had just arrived paused for a moment before flying over at an even faster speed. In the blink of an eye, a sweet, petite woman appeared in front of everyone. Master, you're finally back. This woman looked to be in her twenties and was in the prime of her youth. After seeing Shan Qin Luo, her pair of beautiful eyes flashed with joy and relief. Because she was so happy, her pair of eyes overflowed with tears, and after coming to a stop, the jade rabbit on her chest shook exaggeratedly. Yang Kai glanced at her faintly and found that this young woman's dress was quite tasteful. Her long hair fluttered in the wind, her eyebrows were like thin smoke, her pair of beautiful eyes were slender and bright, her nose was delicate and delicate, her cheeks were slightly flushed, and her lips were like orchids. Her face was as beautiful as a flower, 
and her skin was crystal clear like snow. Her figure was graceful and enchanting. Yang Kai's eyes lit up as he thought to himself, worthy of being the beguiling demon queen's maid, she actually has such beauty. Sweeping her with his divine sense, Yang Kai found that this young woman actually had a cultivation at the Yuan Qi boundary seventh stage. Although she wasn't as strong as Chiu Yi Meng, she wasn't far behind and should be one or two years younger than Chiu Yi Meng. Being swept by his divine sense, the young woman couldn't help feeling a chill run down her spine, her eyes suddenly turning cold as she stared deeply at Yang Kai. Her senses are quite sharp. Yang Kai chuckled and casually turned his eyes away. Frowning slightly, the young woman obviously didn't know why Shan Qing Luo had brought three people back, but she didn't bother arguing with Yang Kai and instead asked eagerly, Master, I heard that the Beast King brought people to ambush you. Are you hurt? It's nothing serious, Shan Qing Luo shook her head slightly, don't worry. That's good. The Beast King is really despicable. Because of this matter, the elders almost ran over and fought with him. By the way, Master, right now the central capital's eight great families are jointly attacking the Holy Land. Our fragrant city has also dispatched a lot of people to meet them, the elder said. Let's talk about it tomorrow, I'm a little tired today, Shan Qin Luo interrupted her, leave it to the elders to decide. And, the young woman nodded slightly, glancing suspiciously at Yang Kai and the other two, these three, Shan Qing Luo frowned as she looked at Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man, suddenly chuckling, waving her hand and sending out two streaks of light. Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man's tender bodies trembled, and by the time they reacted, their Yuan Qi had already been disabled. What does Elder Sister Shan mean? Chiu Yi Meng asked with a forced smile. Nothing, Shan Qing Luo chuckled lightly, by Luo, take these two girls to Fragrant Fragrance Pavilion. And Bai Luo looked curiously at Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man, wondering how these two had offended her master and were now under house arrest in Fragrant Fragrance Pavilion. Although it was strange, Bai Luo didn't ask and simply clapped her hands. Soon, a few young women walked over. These women were all as beautiful as flowers, and their strength was not low either. However, they were dressed like maids. Take them to Fragrant Fragrance Pavilion. Bai Luo ordered. Yes. Take good care of them, don't let these two young ladies suffer any grievances. Shan Qing Luo said with a smile. Chiu Yi Meng and Luo Xiao Man's expressions became gloomy, but they didn't resist, simply smiling helplessly and following the maids away. What about him? Bai Luo pointed to Yang Kai and asked, her heart full of doubts. She had never seen her master bring a young man into the palace. Even when the other evil kings came to visit, they were only arranged in the reception area. No man had ever set foot in this quiet place. He. Shan Qing Luo smiled meaningfully and also sent a streak of light into Yang Kai's body. Yang Kai's expression changed slightly as he quietly circulated his Yuan Qi, but soon found that it wasn't blocked, only that there was an additional mark on his body that he couldn't remove by himself. Take them to Tranquil Phoenix Pavilion to rest. Shan Qing Luo smiled lightly at Yang Kai. Yang Kai's face became sullen, his stomach filled with dissatisfaction. Tranquil Phoenix Pavilion. Bai Luo exclaimed, her beautiful eyes filled with surprise. That place was the deepest part of the palace and was also the best pavilion in the palace. It was the place where the master had lived when she was still a young lady. There was also the bed and curtains used by the master herself, the pillows and jade cushions, and even the remnants of the master's body fragrance. Most importantly, it was where the master's memories were from when she was a young girl. How could such a private place be arranged for a man to live in? Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 312 But now, this unknown man was actually going to live in Tranquil Phoenix Pavilion, causing Bai Luo's heart to fill with shock. What is this little brat's background? How could he be so important to her master? 
Surprised, Bai Luo's pair of beautiful eyes couldn't help staring at Yang Kai, her expression filled with jealousy and unwillingness. You've been running around all this time, you must be tired. You should rest early today, when I'm done with my business, I'll come talk to you again. Shan Qing Luo said with a sweet smile. Yang Kai's expression remained cold as he glared at her but didn't say anything. Under the eaves, he had no choice but to lower his head. Bai Luo was about to clap her hands and summon a few more maids when Shan Qing Luo suddenly said, you personally take him to Tranquil Phoenix Pavilion. Bai Luo was startled, her expression becoming more and more surprised before she nodded, yes. Shan Qing Luo then whispered to Yang Kai, you little bastard, don't bully her, I watched Bai Luo grow up, she's like a sister to me. I know. Yang Kai responded with a sigh. Go. Bai Luo then led Yang Kai through the palace. Following closely behind this enchanting young woman, Yang Kai found that Shan Qin Luo's palace was indeed very quiet. Although the outside was a bustling city, inside there wasn't the slightest noise, and instead a fragrant aroma permeated the air. Every path was clean and spotless. From time to time, they would come across a few beautiful maids, all of whom would respectfully bow to Bai Luo while curiously sizing up Yang Kai. Along the way, Bai Luo didn't encounter a single man. A short time later, they arrived at Tranquil Phoenix Pavilion. It was an elegant three-story loft that wasn't too big nor too small. It had a unique flavor to it and there were many flowers and plants planted in front of it. It was currently the season when flowers bloomed. A fragrant aroma wafted through the air. Hey! Bai Luo called out to Yang Kai as she led the way, be careful when you walk, don't step on these flowers and plants, they were all personally planted by Master. If you break them, I'll make you pay. Oh! Yang Kai responded indifferently. He knew that this little girl had a problem with him, so he didn't care about her resentful tone. What kind of person is this? Bai Luo's heart was filled with resentment. This little brat didn't look like a powerful character, and his clothes and temperament didn't seem like he came from a noble background, so why was Master so interested in him? Furthermore, the Master had warned him not to bully him. Can he beat me? Bai Luo couldn't help feeling annoyed. If it weren't for the fact that Shan Qin Luo was treating Yang Kai with such a high standard, Bai Luo wouldn't have been able to resist the urge to spar with Yang Kai and teach him a lesson. They went up to the second floor of the attic. Bai Luo opened the door and was the first to enter, a look of joy appearing on her pretty face. Not bothering to pay any attention to Yang Kai, she instead leapt directly onto a large bed in the middle of the room. She was sprawled out on the bed, hugging a pillow in her arms. Her delicate nose twitched as she sniffed with all her might. As she sniffed, a look of extreme happiness appeared on her face. This was the bed that Master had slept on, and this was the pillow that Master had rested on. There was also the scent of Master, Bai Luo felt her soul flutter as her cheeks blushed. Yang Kai frowned as he stared at her, secretly laughing in his heart. He knew that in this little girl's heart, Shan Qin Luo was her greatest idol, which was why she was behaving so inexplicably. However, this little girl's posture only served to accentuate her perky buttocks. Taking a closer look at this boudoir, Yang Kai nodded, not bad. Bai Luo instantly woke up and quickly got up from the bed, her almond eyes widening as she grit her teeth and asked, not bad? Yang Kai nodded. This was a woman's boudoir, so it was somewhat inappropriate for him to live here. Giving it a not bad evaluation was already good enough. Ha, huh, it really is not bad. Bai Luo ground her teeth and snorted, this is the place where Master lived when she was still a young girl. I tried so hard to convince Master to let me live here, yet you, a smelly brat of unknown origin, not only do you not feel satisfied, you actually think it's not bad. Ah. Yang Kai stared at her blankly, only now understanding why she was so hostile towards him. Rubbing his nose awkwardly, he asked, Sister Bai Luo, do you have some kind of misunderstanding about me? Who do you think you are? Bai Luo stood up angrily, 
hugging the pillow in her arms and stomping out of the room. Why did you take that pillow away? Yang Kai was speechless. This was used by Master. Bai Luo turned around angrily and angrily shouted, suddenly walking back to Yang Kai's side and picking up the mattress, this was also used by Mistress. Like a little boss, Bai Luo glared at Yang Kai fiercely before turning around and leaving. Yang Kai was surprised, realizing that this woman's worship of Shan Qing Luo was not just a little bit, it had definitely reached the point of obsession. Not caring about this, Yang Kai jumped onto the bed and sat down cross-legged. He definitely couldn't stay in Fragrance City for long. Shan Qing Luo's secret art was simply too dangerous, if he stayed here, sooner or later he would die at her hands. However, this dragon lady had now regained her strength, so Yang Kai couldn't escape even if he wanted to. If he had known earlier, he wouldn't have given her the myriad drug cream. But at that time, he had no other choice but to escape from the tiger's den only to fall into the wolf's lair. On top of that, the mark that Dragon Lady had placed in his body was definitely for tracking purposes. If he wanted to leave, he would first have to deal with this mark. Closing his eyes, Yang Kai carefully examined the situation in his body. Although his divine sense couldn't see inside his body, it was still easy for him to sense his body's condition. After a while, Yang Kai felt a faint energy attached to his ribs between his chest and abdomen, like a maggot attached to a tarsal bone. He tried to use his true Yang Yuan Qi to dispel it, but to no avail. Even the evil energy of the unyielding golden skeleton couldn't be purified. It was attached to his body. It wasn't harmful to his body, nor would it hinder the operation of his Yuan Qi. However, this energy was like a bright lighthouse in the darkness, allowing Shan Qin Luo to easily sense his position. If only the old demon was here. He could see what kind of energy this was, but unfortunately, Ever since the old demon entered the coiling dragon stream's body, there had been no news of him. While he was trying, Yang Kai suddenly sensed a wisp of divine sense drifting to his side. Little bastard. What are you doing? Shan Qing Luo's voice immediately sounded, sounding both angry and happy. Sleeping. Yang Kai rolled his eyes, cursing in his heart. He already knew that there was something wrong with the energy the dragon lady had injected into his body. But he hadn't thought that this would alarm her. Shan Qing Luo smiled tenderly and said, Don't waste your energy. That's my soul chasing seal, unless I remove it myself, even a peak immortal ascension boundary master won't be able to remove it. With this seal, no matter how far you run, I'll be able to find you. There's no need to do this. Yang Kai said with a bitter expression. He he. Shan Qing Luo giggled, who told you to be so dishonest? If you were honest, I wouldn't have treated you like this. Good, good, you can rest for the night, tomorrow I'll come find you, I promise you won't be bored. Forget it. You really are heartless. Shan Qing Luo snorted. Withdrawing his divine sense. In desperation, Yang Kai could only give up on the idea of breaking the soul-chasing seal and rest for the night. The next day, Yang Kai was alarmed by the sound of footsteps coming from downstairs and awoke from his meditation. A moment later, there was a knock on the door. Come in. The door opened. A beautiful woman with a voluptuous figure walked in gracefully, and a bewitching smile hung on her face. It was hard to tell how old this beautiful woman was, but she was at most twenty-five years old. Her figure was full, her pair of peach blossom eyes seemed to constantly bloom with an alluring light, and her skin was white and delicate. She was also extremely charming, and although she wasn't as beautiful as Shan Qing Luo, she wasn't far off. She was the type that exuded a ripe fragrance from head to toe, the type that could be easily pinched. However, Compared to Shan Qing Luo, this woman was more amorous while Shan Qing Luo was more delicate. She looked at Yang Kai with a smile and softly said, Did young lord rest well last night? Not bad. Yang Kai nodded slightly. The beautiful woman stepped forward, walked to the side of the bed, and gracefully bowed. 
Her breath smelled like orchids as she said, This servant was sent by the Lord to serve the young master. The young master can just call me Yunli and these two girls. The beautiful woman introduced herself as she waved her hand. Immediately, two young girls with different temperaments walked out from behind her. One looked gentle and quiet while the other looked dignified and elegant. Whether it was the beautiful woman or the two girls, they were both beautiful and pleasing to the eye. This is Ruoyu. The beautiful woman pointed to the gentle and quiet girl and then pointed to the other dignified and elegant girl. This is Roa Qin. Greetings to young lord. The two girls gracefully bowed. Their manners and manners were comparable to the young ladies of large families. There was simply no flaw to be found. Yang Kai's face darkened. He didn't know what this dragon lady Shan Qin Luo wanted to do. These three girls had different temperaments, but no matter which one it was, they could arouse a man's desire to conquer them. Not to mention the two young girls, Roa Yu and Roa Qin, the beautiful woman Yun Li's temperament was only slightly worse than Shan Qin Luo's. Moreover, she had an advantage that the other young girls didn't have. That was, her extremely plump body and her pair of peach blossom eyes seemed to emit a seductive light at all times. Does this mean I'm going to fall in love? Yang Kai's heart was beating like a drum. The beautiful woman Yunli smiled and said, Master said that during young lord's stay in Fragrant City, these servants will take care of young lord's daily needs. Then I'll have to trouble you. Yang Kai responded indifferently. Of course, young lord is master's honored guest. The beautiful woman Yunli smiled, but her cheek suddenly blushed as she softly said, Master also said that if young lord has any request, these servants must satisfy it. Any request? Yang Kai's heart skipped a beat as he understood the hidden meaning behind these words. The beautiful woman gently nodded. This time, even Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing were bashful, their eyes slightly drifting, not daring to look at Yang Kai, their expressions slightly nervous. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 313 Regardless of what purpose Shan Qin Luo had for sending these three women here, the three of them were quite considerate in their service. In this loft, the second floor was a place to rest. On the first floor was a large bathtub carved from white jade. It was not cheap. As for the third floor, there was nothing special about it. It was probably just a place to enjoy the scenery. Under the instructions of the beautiful woman Yunli, the two young girls, Roa Yu and Roa Qin, supported Yang Kai on either side, regardless of whether he was willing or not, and led him directly to the bathtub on the first floor. Inside, steam rose and the fragrance of flowers wafted out. At some point, a pool of hot water had been prepared, and this pool was filled with petals of various colors. Yang Kai's face went black. A big man soaking in a flower bath here, no matter how he thought about it, it was strange. Young lord, please bathe and change clothes first. The beautiful woman, Yunli, had a faint smile on her face from beginning to end, looking very pleasing to the eye. Yang Kai calmly nodded. After waiting for a long time, he found that whether it was Yunli, Ruo Yu, or Ruo Qing, neither of them had any intention of leaving, so Yang Kai couldn't help looking at them in surprise and asking, your master didn't ask you to help me bathe, right? The beautiful woman, Yunli, pursed her lips and smiled sweetly, if young lord wishes, this servant will obey, the master said that any request of young lords must be satisfied, towards the end, her voice gradually lowered and her face flushed red, somewhat embarrassed. Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing's tender bodies tensed up. No need to trouble yourself, you can leave first. Yang Kai waved his hand. The beautiful woman's pair of peach blossom eyes couldn't help showing a touch of surprise as she glanced over at Yang Kai in surprise. On the other hand, Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing, upon hearing Yang Kai's words, couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. The three of them quickly left. Yang Kai then took off his clothes and jumped into the bath. 
the temperature of the water was neither too hot nor too cold, just enough to wash away the fatigue he had accumulated over this period of time. He didn't know how Su Yen was doing after leaving the void corridor. He should have been able to cross 10,000 kilometers in an instant, but where were they now? What about High Heaven Pavilion? What was the result of the battle with Grandmaster? Yang Kai was somewhat upset. Outside the loft, Bai Luo stood angrily waiting. She really couldn't understand why her master was treating this little brat so well. Not only had she provided him with the best accommodation, she had even sent the best maidservant in the palace. Regardless of whether it was in terms of appearance or temperament, the three of them were all top-notch within the temporary imperial residence. Such considerate care. Not even when the other evil kings came to visit. That brat didn't look like a decent person. It couldn't have eaten Yunli, Ruoyu, and Rua Qing, right? Thinking so, Bai Luo became even angrier, secretly feeling that the three women were not worth it. Yunli was one thing. She had been a widow for many years and hadn't had a good life. Of course, Rua Yu and Rua Qing also had similar thoughts. If they were together with that little brat, it wouldn't be surprising for them to be attracted by him, but Rua Yu and Rua Qing were sisters who had grown up together with Bai Luo. Both of them were pure little girls, so if their pure bodies were really ruined by that little brat, this old lady will castrate him. A murderous intent flashed across Bai Luo's eyes as she secretly made up her mind. Just as she was about to explode with anger, Bai Luo saw Yunli, Rua Yu, and Rua Qing walk out together. H.M. Bai Luo gawked for a moment before immediately feeling overjoyed. Rushing over, she grabbed Rua Yu and Rua Qing's hands and anxiously asked, Are you all right? Were you molested by him? Rua Yu and Rua Qing both blushed and quickly shook their heads. The beautiful woman Yunli giggled, sister by Luo worries too much, that young lord doesn't look like a lecherous man, he's actually quite obedient. Really? Bai Luo was taken aback, did you tell master's instructions to him? Yes, I did. Yunli nodded slightly. He didn't try to take advantage of you. Bai Luo tilted her head and asked in disbelief. No. Yunli chuckled. If you don't believe me, you can ask Rua Yu and Rua Qing. Bai Luo stared at them suspiciously. Rua Qing shook her head and blushed, Bai Luo, you're thinking too much. Just now I was so scared, I really thought he was some kind of lecherous pervert. Strange, how could that be? This young lady has always been quite good at judging men. That little brat obviously has a belly full of dirty tricks, there's no reason he wouldn't molest you. Bai Luo frowned. Suddenly, her eyes lit up and she snorted, N, it must be because it's his first time here and he's a bit embarrassed. Men are all like that. It's not like you haven't seen those evil kings and young lords who visit the palace as guests. Which one of them doesn't drool at the sight of you? They can't wait to strip you naked and carry you to bed. Listening to her words, Rua Yu and Rua Qing became nervous again. He's definitely that kind of man, first pretending to be refined to lower your vigilance, then when you're unprepared, he'll eat you up, body and heart. In fact, he's just a wolf in sheep's clothing. Bai Luo speculated. Ah. Rua Yu and Rua Qing were startled. The beautiful woman Yunli didn't know whether to laugh or cry, sister Bai Luo, don't scare them, that young lord shouldn't be a bad person. Besides, if he really wanted to take action, we wouldn't be able to resist, Bai Luo glared at her for a moment before suddenly pouncing forward and grabbing hold of the two soft mounds on Yun Li's chest, squeezing them as she grinned wickedly, it looks like elder sister Yun is already mentally prepared. Is it because there has never been a man in this palace before and you haven't been nourished for so many years that you can't help but want to throw yourself at him? Suddenly being attacked, the two sensitive mounds on her chest were accurately pinched by Bai Luo, causing the beautiful woman Yunli to almost collapse into her arms, her white cheeks suddenly flushing red as she grit her teeth and whispered, What are you talking about? Humph, so sensitive, you really are one. Bai Luo not only didn't let go, 
but instead increased the intensity of her grip, pushing her Yuan Qi into her fingertips in a rhythmic manner, fiercely stimulating the two red mounds on Yun Li's chest. N. A moan came from the beautiful woman's mouth, her pair of peach blossom eyes instantly blurring as a strange red glow appeared on her skin. As soon as this sound entered their ears, Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing both felt a strange sensation in their hearts. Bai Luo giggled and leaned her head towards the beautiful woman's slender white neck, stretching out her delicate tongue and licking her earlobe. Yun Li suddenly shivered. Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing both stared dumbfounded at this scene, their hearts pounding like a little deer. Although they had long known that Bai Luo cultivated the same seductive secret art as their master and knew a great deal about the matters between men and women, they had never imagined that she would be so irresistible when she went crazy. Damn girl, don't make trouble. The beautiful woman Yunli resisted the throbbing of her heart and the ecstasy of her body as she struggled to free herself from Bai Luo's arms. Her two beautiful legs almost couldn't support her own weight, causing her to feel weak and powerless, and even her voice was extremely strange. Humph. Sure enough, a mature woman really is different. Bai Luo licked her red lips, a look of longing appearing on her face as her eyes filled with lust. I won't play with you anymore, why don't you go find Qian Ning and Qian Hen? Master assigned them to you to cultivate your seductive secret art. Ruo Yu, Ruo Qing and I still have to serve that young lord for breakfast, it's not good to delay. The beautiful woman Yunli shot her a disdainful look, seemingly understanding by Luo's temperament, quickly calling out to Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing, let's go. N. Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing hurriedly followed. Elder sister Yun, I'll come find you tonight. Bai Luo called out from behind in a sweet voice. Yunli turned around and glared at her fiercely, Ruo Yu, Ruo Qing and I will be resting here tonight, if you have the courage then come. After finishing his bath, Yan Kai changed into a clean set of robes. These robes had all been bought by Shan Qing Luo early in the morning and were all bright and shiny, perfectly matching Yan Kai's physique, further accentuating his extraordinary aura. Even the beautiful woman Yunli, Ruo Yu, and Ruo Qing couldn't help looking at him. Breakfast had already been set up outside, with a variety of exotic delicacies, a pleasing sight to behold. The beautiful woman Yunli scooped a spoonful of porridge for him and said, These were all personally prepared by this servant, young lord should eat them while they're hot. Pausing for a moment, she smiled and said, Young lord's physique is slightly thin, it should be because he has been running around outside all year round, right? You should eat more to supplement your body. N. Yang Kai responded faintly before asking suspiciously, Where is your master? Master has some matters to attend to today. Yun Li replied with a smile. I thought she would come over to accompany me for breakfast. Yang Kai frowned. Listening to him say this, the beautiful woman Yun Li and the two girls couldn't help showing a strange expression, secretly wondering what Yang Kai's background was. Daring to have Shan Qin Luo accompany him to eat, none of the other five evil kings had such good fortune, right? If I want to find her, where should I go? Yang Kai asked as he ate. The beautiful woman Yun Li smiled and said, Master said that she will be busy these past few days, so if young lord has any questions, you can ask Miss Bai Luo. She's been waiting outside since early morning. I've been played. Yang Kai snorted. Yesterday, Shan Qing Luo had said that she would come to find him today, but now she had changed her mind. She must have known that he wanted to discuss his departure with her, so she had decided to avoid him. Sweeping away the food on the table, Yang Kai walked out of the loft. The enchanting young woman, Bai Luo, was standing outside waiting, her expression clearly showing that she didn't like Yang Kai, but since Shan Qin Luo had given her orders, she didn't dare disobey in the slightest. Miss Bai Luo. Yang Kai called out. An. Bai Luo responded faintly, her face filled with an unapproachable arrogance. Yang Kai chuckled and said, I want to see your master. Bai Luo frowned and said unhappily, 
Master is discussing some important matters with several of the city's elders today, I'm afraid she won't have time to see you. When will the discussion be over? Probably not in the next few days. Master has been away from Fragrance City for almost two months now, and during this time there has been a lot of fighting, so many things need to be handled by her. Yang Kai's expression became cold, his mood suddenly becoming unhappy. Bai Luo hesitated for a moment before reluctantly saying, but Master said last night that in order to make up for her mistakes, she will allow you to enter her treasure house. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 314 Treasure House Yang Kai's brow furrowed as he silently cursed the dragon lady. Was she trying to tempt him with benefits? In his heart, Yang Kai muttered to himself, Is there anything good in that treasure house? Nonsense. Bai Luo glared at him, Master's treasure house naturally has many good things. Master said that your strength is too low, so if you enter her treasure house you can find something useful to enhance your cultivation and strength. Then what are we waiting for? Yang Kai urged. Seeing him seem to be somewhat impatient, Bai Luo began to despise him even more in her heart, silently cursing him for being a country bumpkin who had never seen the world. Although she was very reluctant, as long as it was something Shan Qing Luo ordered, Bai Luo would not hesitate to complete it. Come with me, he said somewhat impatiently, and then led the way. After walking around the palace for a long time, they suddenly came to a secluded room. Entering this room, after walking a few dozen meters inside, they came face to face with a thick door. This door was made of some unknown material and appeared to be quite old. It was also thick and simple, obviously not something that could be easily broken open. What was even stranger was that there was no handle on the door, nor was there any gap, it was as if it was connected to two walls. Bai Luo took out a black rectangular object from her waist and quickly formed a series of hand seals, pouring her Yuan Qi into it. A moment later, she placed this rectangular object on the door. Accompanied by a rumbling sound, the heavy door opened with a loud bang. Yang Kai looked around curiously and couldn't help but praise, this place is very safe to hide things in. Bai Luo snorted lightly. Proudly saying, naturally, this entire treasure house is made of scarlet desolate black gold, even if a peak immortal ascension boundary master came here, they wouldn't be able to open it in a short time. This can be said to be the safest place in the world. Listening to her boasting, Yang Kai didn't refute her, instead just secretly curling his lips. In terms of safety. His black book space was the safest place. Come in. Bai Luo walked in first and greeted Yang Kai. After the two of them entered, the door to the treasury closed again. Although this treasury was sealed, it was still a treasure trove. However, it wasn't dark at all. The walls were decorated with precious pearls the size of cobblestones. The precious pearls emitted a gentle light. The entire treasury was illuminated by the radiance. Once inside, Bai Luo expressionlessly introduced the various items to Yang Kai, over there are gold and silver items, over here are herbs, over here are pills, over here are artifacts and weapons, and over here are secret arts and martial skills. And, take a look for yourself, don't bother me if there's nothing important. She seemed to be eager to get rid of Yang Kai. Yang Kai wrinkled his nose and frowned, Sister Bai Luo, did your master say how many things I can take from here? Bai Luo sneered. He said disdainfully, how much more do you want? I'm just asking. Bai Luo's face sank as she impatiently said, Master said you can take as much as you want. Oh. Listening to her say so, Yang Kai no longer had any scruples and directly walked over to the pile of herbs. Seeing him not show any trace of politeness, Bai Luo couldn't help muttering, Hmph, sure enough, he's just a country bumpkin. I really don't understand why Master is so good to him. As he spoke, he quickly went to the secret treasure and took out a pair of exquisite earrings from it. This pair of earrings was blue in color. They were crystal clear, almost like two drops of tears. 
holding the earrings in the palm of her hand, Bai Luo smiled happily, not willing to let go. On the other side, Yang Kai sneered. Shan Qing Luo, that dragon lady had placed him under house arrest in her palace. Although she didn't have any malicious intent, it still made him feel uncomfortable. However, she had actually allowed Yang Kai to enter her treasury, which was her mistake. If Yang Kai wanted, it wouldn't be a problem for him to completely empty this entire treasury. After all, the black book space was much larger than this treasury. However, Yang Kai didn't want to expose the secret of the black book space, so he could only look for things here that were useful to him. The Dantian's Yang liquid needed to be replenished. Yang Kai didn't need to worry about the unyielding golden skeleton's energy reserves as it had a massive amount, so there was no need to worry about it drying up. Only his Yang liquid was constantly decreasing. As long as it was a Yang attribute herb or pill, Yang Kai didn't let them go and collected them all into the black book space. N, herbs and pills that could nourish the soul were also relatively rare, so he couldn't let them go. The five-colored soul-warming lotus needed these herbs to evolve and expand his divine sense, so Yang Kai swept them all into the black book space. As for secret arts and martial skills, Yang Kai didn't care much about them. He didn't need any secret arts or martial skills, and there shouldn't be anything good here. Yang Kai was more interested in finding a high-quality soul skill to cultivate. Although his divine sense had been tempered long ago, because he didn't have a soul skill, it hadn't played much of a role until now and could only be used to explore the surrounding environment. However, searching through this treasure house, Yang Kai couldn't find any decent soul skills. Occasionally, there would be one or two, but they were all trash below earth grade. Yang Kai really didn't care about such soul skills. Even if he cultivated them, they wouldn't be of much use and would only be a waste of time. After searching for a while, Yang Kai only found some Yang attribute herbs and pills. In addition, there were only a few things that could be used to nourish his divine sense. Symbolically taking out two bottles of heaven-grade pills, Yang Kai searched for a long time before finally finding Bai Luo. This enchanting young girl had already worn a pair of earrings under her delicate earlobes and was holding a mirror in her hand while giggling to herself. Kai Yang's sudden appearance in front of her gave her a fright. Patting her soft chest with her small hands, she wrinkled her eyebrows and took a deep breath. She angrily said, How come you don't make a sound when you walk? Yang Kai was surprised, It's you who's immersed in your own world, isn't it? Bai Luo's small face blushed and she quickly removed the earrings from her earlobes before carefully putting them back in their original place, reluctantly withdrawing her gaze and asking, Did you find them? And what did you find? Yang Kai waved the two bottles of pills in his hand, causing Bai Luo to be slightly surprised. Chuckling lightly, she said, I didn't think you would be so tactful, I thought you would definitely, halfway through her sentence, Bai Luo curled her lips and didn't continue. Definitely what? Nothing, since you found them, let's go. But are you sure you only want these two bottles of pills? Master said he wanted you to find something to enhance your strength. Bai Luo asked uneasily, Can you enhance your strength like this? That's enough. Yang Kai nodded. I'm too lazy to care about you, I'll tell you this first. It's not that I don't want to give you a choice, it's that you only want these two bottles of pills. Master asked. Don't say anything about me. Yang Kai nodded indifferently, N. Leaving the treasure house, Bai Luo closed the door again and turned around. A small box flew towards her. Bai Luo was shocked and quickly reached out to catch it, staring at Yang Kai vigilantly. After seeing what kind of box she had just caught, she couldn't help calling out in surprise as she stared at Yang Kai in shock. Yang Kai smiled faintly and asked, Do you like this? Of course I like it. Bai Luo nodded repeatedly a look of pleasant surprise appearing on her face. Opening the box, she found the pair of earrings she had tried on for a while before putting them back. How did you know? Bai Luo looked at Yang Kai in surprise. I can tell just by looking at your expression. 
Yan Kai chuckled, I'm not blind. Ha <laughs> ha. Bai Luo couldn't help feeling joy in her heart and quickly took out the earrings. Staring at them dazzlingly, she said, these are just ordinary earth-grade low-rank artifacts, but from the first time I saw them I fell in love with them. If you like them, why didn't you ask your master for them? I see that your master treats you well. Yang Kai said suspiciously. And, these are the relics of my old master, I was afraid that if my master saw them, he would be sad. Bai Luo sighed faintly, suddenly hugging them tightly in her arms like they were precious treasures, are these for me? And Why else would I take them out? If your master asks, just say I took them. Thank you. Bai Luo stared at him with a complicated expression before suddenly becoming vigilant, you, why are you so good to me? Do you have some kind of ulterior motive? Are you interested in me? Yang Kai didn't know whether to laugh or cry, you're thinking too much. I'll tell you, I don't like men. Bai Luo stared at Yang Kai with great vigilance, seemingly trying to discern whether he was telling the truth or not, so no matter how much you try to court me, I won't be tempted. In my heart, my master is the most perfect partner. Yang Kai was dumbfounded, as if he had been struck by lightning, staring at her in amazement, you mean you like. Shan Qing Luo. An. Bai Luo's face blushed red, but she still stiffly nodded, her eyes filled with a sense of longing, sooner or later, I will become master's wife, at this moment, she showed the beautiful feelings a young girl should have, but this partner, there seemed to be some problems. Yang Kai took a deep breath and nodded, hesitating for a long time before finally saying, then I wish Bai Luo all the best. Bai Luo giggled, tilting her head as she looked Yang Kai up and down, saying with satisfaction, I now find that you're not so annoying after all. It seemed that Yang Kai giving her a gift was quite effective, at least she didn't treat him as coldly as before. Ha! <laughs> Yang Kai smiled awkwardly, not knowing what to say. Bai Luo then said, Good, now that we've finished exploring the treasure house, Master said that if you feel bored, I can take you for a walk around the city. Do you want to go out? No need, I want to go back and cultivate. Yang Kai said. Humph. Bai Luo snorted meaningfully, and, Tranquil Phoenix Pavilion has elder sister Yunli, Roa Yu, and Roa Qing, there really isn't much fun outside. Also, if you really, asterisk ahem asterisk, when you do that, you'll first lay your hands on elder sister Yunli. She was married for less than a month before her husband died, and now she hasn't touched a man for almost ten years, so she'll be like a wolf or a tiger. You have to take care of your body. And, elder sister Yunli likes it when people touch her ears. Bai Luo blushed as she gave Yang Kai some advice, her beautiful face filled with excitement. Yang Kai's face went pale. How could such an enchanting little girl speak of such vulgar things? On top of that, she seemed to be quite experienced. He really didn't know where her experience came from. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 315 On the second floor of Tranquil Phoenix Pavilion Yang Kai sat cross-legged on a fragrant bed, his expression solemn as he breathed evenly. Circulating his true Yang secret art, he was refining and absorbing the Yang attribute spirit grasses and pills in his stomach. These things from the Shan Qing Luo's treasure house were all of high quality, at least earth grade high rank, while most of them were heaven grade. Things that could be stored in the treasure house of a master like the beguiling demon queen were naturally not too bad. A slight humming sound rang out as Yang Kai circulated his true Yang secret art, causing the medicinal efficacies of these pills and herbs to rapidly transform into pure true Yang Yuan Qi that filled his meridians. Back in Medicine King's Valley's hidden cloud peak, Xiao Fu Sheng had prepared a pot of medicinal soup for Yang Kai, using a special secret art to fully absorb the medicinal efficacies and develop the potential of his meridians. It was only now that the medicinal soup truly played a role, allowing him to temper his Yuan Qi more effectively and conveniently than before. Moreover, this effect would accompany him throughout his life, 
and the more he cultivated, the more he would realize the benefits. After a dozen or so cycles, before the first drop of yang liquid had even formed, the energy in his body suddenly expanded and a silent ripple spread out like a wave, quickly disappearing without a trace. Yang Kai clearly felt that his strength had soared, giving him a comfortable feeling both physically and mentally. Yuan Qi Boundary Fifth Stage Ever since he had stepped into the true element boundary, every breakthrough had become more difficult than before. However, Yang Kai had been consistently taking a small cup of myriad drug liquid every day, using this liquid to improve his physique and cleanse his meridians. After such a long time, whether it was his physique or meridians, they had all significantly improved, so even after breaking through to the Yuan Qi boundary, he could still easily break through. Being stuck in the Yuan Qi boundary fourth stage for more than a month now, it was only natural for him to break through now. Scorching hot true Yang Yuan Qi burst out from his body like a tongue of fire. The temperature of the entire room rose. Holding his breath, Yang Kai restrained his Yuan Qi, allowing the tongues of Yuan Qi to submerge into Yang Kai's body and disappear. His whole body felt warm and comfortable. The Yang Kai secret art was the most masculine and masculine of the true Yang secret art. It made Yang Kai, who practiced this secret art, look full of majestic Yang Qi at this moment. His meridians were swollen and could no longer accept any more pure and explosive Yuan Qi. With a dripping sound, a new drop of Yang liquid was formed and immersed into the Dantian. His swollen meridians instantly felt empty, making him feel uncomfortable. However, the medicinal herbs and elixirs that were consumed quickly produced new Yuan Qi. It filled the emptiness of his meridians. The ticking sound was extremely pleasing to the ear. This was a sound that went straight to the heart. After all the medicinal efficacies had been completely absorbed, the Dantian had a few dozen drops of new yang liquid. Exhaling lightly and feeling the fullness of Dantian, Yang Kai smiled with satisfaction. Although the amount of yang liquid stored in Yang Kai's storage was not much, the quality of the yang liquid was no longer comparable to before. It could also last for a very long time. Without relaxing, Yang Kai continued to close his eyes. After replenishing the Yang liquid, it was now time to nourish his divine sense. The soul chasing seal that the Shan Qing Luo had inserted into Yang Kai's body. It should be a soul skill. So as long as his divine sense was strong enough, he could break it. If he wanted to strengthen his divine sense, he would need to take some precious treasures. Or he would need to cultivate a soul skill. Yang Kai had only cultivated one soul skill, and that was the soul palace. However, this soul skill was not only for defense, it also had strict requirements for the cultivation environment. For the time being, there was no need to consider it. How could he make his divine sense grow quickly enough to break the dragon lady's soul chasing seal? Yang Kai frowned, thinking hard. As he thought about it. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. He remembered the previous two times when his divine sense had rapidly grown stronger. Both times, he had gone deep into some dangerous places, and his divine sense had cycled back and forth between consumption and replenishment to become stronger. The first time was in that isolated world's white mist forest, where the soul cleansing dew was formed. The second time was in the coiling dragon stream, where the demonic chi had attacked his soul and damaged his divine sense the most. Through this process, his divine sense had grown stronger. This kind of speed was not something that cultivating a soul skill or taking precious treasures could compare with. If it was anyone else, they wouldn't dare use this method to cultivate their divine sense. If one's divine sense was seriously damaged, a few times wouldn't necessarily lead to an accident, but if it happened too many times, it could become a permanent injury that could never be healed. But Yang Kai was different. Yang Kai had the five-colored soul-warming lotus, a supreme treasure that could nourish his divine sense, so he didn't need to worry about leaving behind any permanent damage. Frowning, Yang Kai pondered for a long time before finally deciding to go all out. Replenishing his divine sense was easy. 
Some of the herbs and pills he had taken out from Shan Qing Luo's treasure house, as well as the myriad drug milk could be used to supplement his divine sense. Consuming his divine sense was also easy. Yang Kai also had the true alchemic way in his mind. The last time he had probed it for a long time, he had only managed to discover a single spirit array that was used to assist in alchemy. As long as he used his divine sense to probe this true alchemic way, he could quickly consume his divine sense. Considering all this, Yang Kai no longer hesitated and immersed himself in exploring the true alchemic way in his mind. This true alchemic way was extensive and profound, its records were complex and profound. If he wanted to thoroughly comprehend it, he would need to spend a great deal of time and divine sense to do so. Yang Kai wasn't interested in the true alchemic way, so he didn't pay much attention to it. A moment later, a sharp pain spread through his mind and his entire body became exhausted, his face suddenly pale. His divine sense had been completely exhausted. A cool feeling overflowed from his mind, this was the soul-warming lotus repairing his damaged divine sense. After a while, the pain disappeared and the damaged area was completely repaired. However, the divine sense he had consumed was not replenished. After his last experience in the myriad drug pond, Yang Kai knew that it took a long time for his divine sense to recover. If he allowed it to recover on its own, even with the help of the soul-warming lotus, it would take at least four or five hours. Because his divine sense was not as easy to restore compared to a cultivator's Yuan Qi, it was extremely difficult to cultivate his divine sense. Weakly, Yang Kai took out a bottle of spirit restoring pills and poured one into his mouth along with a little bit of myriad drug milk. Refining it, he absorbed its medicinal efficacies. A moment later, Yang Kai's spiritual energy was once again replenished and his spiritual energy was once again restored to its peak. His divine sense once again penetrated into the true alchemic way, prying into its mysteries. Time passed, and Yang Kai didn't know how long it had been. Yang Kai continued this cycle of replenishing his divine sense. With each cycle, his divine sense really did increase a little. Although the degree of enhancement was not great, it was still accumulating. The results were very gratifying. Not only that. The mysteries of the true alchemic way also piqued Yang Kai's interest. Last time, Yang Kai had spent a great deal of effort, but he had only been able to discover a single spirit array that assisted in alchemy. That spirit array could increase the grade of the alchemy process. For example, if he used this spirit array to assist in alchemy, it was possible to obtain a mysterious grade pill from a furnace of heaven grade high rank materials. Of course. However, there was a possibility that the effect would not be very good. Furthermore, the higher the grade of the medicinal pill, the more difficult it would be to refine it. The higher the grade, the worse the effect. As he delved deeper into the true alchemic way, Yang Kai discovered that there were a variety of spirit arrays recorded in it. At the very least, he had glimpsed a few of them. This included improving the quality of the pills, increasing the probability of pill veins appearing, increasing the success rate of alchemy, and many other functions. And these. This was just the beginning of the true alchemic way. It was difficult to imagine what kind of mysteries would be hidden in the later chapter s. In addition to the spirit arrays, there were also some special alchemy techniques, the selection of materials, and so on. All of this information was imprinted in Yang Kai's mind so that if there was an opportunity in the future, he could pass it all on to Xia Ning Chang and Xiao Fu Sheng. In just two days, all of the herbs and pills Yang Kai had plundered from Shan Qing Luo's treasure house had been consumed. Things that could nourish one's soul were relatively few, so how could they withstand Yang Kai's unbridled consumption? Other immortal ascension boundary masters would carry one or two bottles of these pills, but that was only in case of emergencies. Who would take them one after another? Without these pills and herbs, relying on the myriad drug milk alone would not be enough to quickly restore one's spiritual energy. Although the myriad drug milk also had a certain role, its effects were too broad and did not specifically target one's soul. Taking it once or twice would have a significant effect, 
but once it was used too many times, it would become unreliable. Its more important role was to catalyze the medicinal efficacies of pills and enhance their efficacy. Without pills that could nourish one's soul, it would take twice the effort for half the result to cultivate, making it difficult for one to find motivation. Someone come, Yan Kai thought about it for a moment before frowning and shouting towards the outside. He could feel that during the past few days he had been cultivating, there were still three people's life auras in Tranquil Phoenix Pavilion. They should be the beautiful woman Yunli, Ruo Yu, and Ruo Qing. Yang Kai lived in one of the inner rooms, and there was a side room outside where the three of them lived. At all times, there would be someone waiting there, waiting for Yang Kai to summon them. As soon as he shouted, there was a rush of footsteps as the beautiful woman Yunli, Ruo Yu, and Ruo Qing all came over. What orders does young lord have? The beautiful woman Yunli looked towards Yang Kai with a smile and asked softly. Where is Bai Luo? Miss Bai Luo, at this time she should be cultivating in her own residence, Yunli replied. Go call her over. Yes. Yunli nodded before turning to Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing and saying, Go invite Miss Bai Luo over. The two girls nodded, turned around, and left. On the other hand, the beautiful woman Yunli stayed behind for some unknown purpose, her pair of watery peach blossom eyes staring towards Yang Kai as she softly asked, Young lord looks very tired, have you not rested well these past few days? No, Yang Kai shook his head faintly, I've just been cultivating. The beautiful woman smiled, swaying her beautiful hips as she walked over, bringing with her a mature and elegant demeanor. Without any scruples, she climbed onto the bed and knelt down behind Yang Kai. Stretching out her two delicate hands, she gently rubbed Yang Kai's head. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 316 A light and airy feeling washed over him as the beautiful woman Yun Li's slender fingers seemed to possess some kind of magical power. Wherever they passed, Yang Kai's physical and mental fatigue would be dispelled, causing him to involuntarily relax and feel extremely comfortable. The land of warmth and gentleness was the tomb of heroes, this saying was not false at all. Yang Kai also calmly closed his eyes and enjoyed this intoxicating feeling. He wasn't a hypocritical person. Shan Qing Luo had sent Yunli, Ruo Yu, and Ruo Qing to serve him, clearly wanting to satisfy any of his requests. How could Yang Kai not know that as long as he wanted to, he could do whatever he wanted with these three women? Of these three women, one was mature and voluptuous, one was gentle and quiet, and one was elegant and dignified. Each of them had their own unique charms, but all of them were equally attractive to men. Now that this beautiful woman had taken the initiative to serve him, Yang Kai naturally didn't refuse. If he did, it would appear as if he had a guilty conscience. The room fell silent for a time. Yang Kai didn't speak, and the beautiful woman Yunli also remained silent, only concentrating on kneading his chest. As time passed, Yang Kai clearly noticed that the breathing of the beautiful woman half kneeling behind him had become slightly heavier, and even her body temperature had gradually risen. Her breathing was like an orchid, and her heartbeat had also become faster and faster. Yang Kai didn't know if it was intentional or not, but during the process of kneading, her full and supple chest rubbed against his back from time to time, as if they were close, yet also apart. Her two cherry-like peaks rubbed against his spine, giving him a burst of sharp sensation. Yang Kai's expression couldn't help becoming slightly strange. Could this beautiful woman Yunli really be like Bai Luo had said? She had been lonely for a long time and now she was acting like a wolf or a tiger. Otherwise, how could she be making such a big commotion? The strange reaction of this beautiful woman also caused Yang Kai to become somewhat restless. Yunli wasn't very old, at most twenty-five years old. Although she wasn't at the prime of her life, she was still at the peak of her youth. Most importantly, she was far more mature than most young girls, both physically and psychologically. If something really did happen between them, she wouldn't be so entangled. 
This woman had already been married ten years ago, but her husband had died within a month, so she had been a widow for ten years. Ten years ago, she was only fifteen years old. After tasting that wonderful feeling, she hadn't continued for a long time. Perhaps she was really moved. He seemed to have noticed Yang Kai's reaction. Yun Li smiled. Taking the initiative to distance herself from Yang Kai, she softly said, Young Lord, Lady Bai Luo should be here soon. Yes. He knew that she was reminding him. Yang Kai just nodded and said no more. The beautiful woman looked at Yang Kai in surprise. She didn't expect him to be so easy to talk to. He couldn't help but feel slightly disappointed. A moment later, the sound of Bai Luo grinding her teeth and cursing filled the air. It seemed that she had just been at a critical juncture in her cultivation when she was disturbed by Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing. However, since Shan Qing Luo had given her orders, she had no choice but to hurry over. Yang Kai Arriving at the bottom of the loft, Bai Luo placed her hands on her waist and raised her chin as she called out. Yang Kai stood up. Walking over to the window, he directly jumped down and landed in front of her. A woman should act like a woman, why are you acting so fierce? Yang Kai frowned. None of your business. Bai Luo ground her teeth as she glared at Yang Kai, angrily saying, Don't think that just because you tried to please me last time I don't hate you anymore. Let me tell you, if it weren't for master's orders, this lady wouldn't have bothered with you. Then give me back my things. Yang Kai stretched out his hand in a serious manner. What things? Bai Luo asked curiously. That pair of earrings. Bai Luo quickly stepped back and stared at Yang Kai incredulously, a bitter expression appearing on her face as she asked, Are you serious? There's no use in me trying to please you. Why should I try to please you? Give me back my things. Yang Kai said coldly. Hey hey hey. Are you still a man or not? Bai Luo suddenly became dumbfounded and sarcastically said, Things that have been given out are like spilled water, how can you ask for them back? Aren't you being too petty? That's because you're ignorant. Yang Kai sneered, Who said that things that have been given out can't be asked for back? I said so. Bai Luo stubbornly refused, I won't give them back. I won't give them back to you even if you kill me. You gave it to me yourself that day. Since it's in my hands, it's mine. Are you going to give them back or not? Nope. Good. Yang Kai nodded and strode out. Where are you going? Bai Luo sensed something was wrong and quickly stepped in front of him. I'm going to tell your master that you stole an artifact from her treasure house. Yang Kai stared at her provocatively and sneered. You, you. Bai Luo staggered back a few steps, her finger trembling as she pointed towards Yang Kai, her face flushed red, how can you be so shameless? That was clearly something you took out from her treasure house and threw to me, that day you said. That day I didn't say anything. Yang Kai's mouth curled into a smug smile. Little girl, you're still too inexperienced, do you really think this young master would be so kind as to give you something? And that day, besides those two bottles of pills, I didn't take anything else. Yang Kai calmly added. Don't be so unreasonable. Bai Luo was completely dispirited. She finally understood what it meant to eat someone's mouth was short and her hands were soft. Although she couldn't wait to tear Yang Kai into ten thousand pieces, she still put on a pitiful expression on her face. Looking towards Yang Kai with an aggrieved expression, Bai Luo sobbed, You're not such a person, right? My attitude before was bad and I apologize to you, do you really have the heart to see me being misunderstood by my master and then punished? Bai Luo stared at him pitifully, the more she spoke, the more her eyes became red, as if she had suffered a great grievance. Yang Kai didn't buy this at all and coldly said, Sorry, I'm such a shameless and heartless person, and I'm also particularly vengeful, so provoking me is definitely not a wise choice. You. I'll remember you. 
Bai Luo saw that her soft approach didn't work, so she didn't bother to put on a pitiful appearance and bitterly grit her teeth, what do you want, nothing, I'm just bored so I'm going to find your master and have a chat. Bai Luo's Yuan Qi fiercely surged as she glared towards Yang Kai, seemingly unable to restrain herself from teaching him a lesson. Yang Kai stared back at her indifferently, grinning meaningfully. Bai Luo's Yuan Qi seventh stage cultivation wasn't worthy of his attention. If she dared to attack him here, Yang Kai could use this as an excuse to cause a ruckus with Shan Qing Luo, completely freeing himself from this dragon lady's shackles. The two of them stared at each other for a moment before Bai Luo's imposing manner suddenly collapsed and she weakly said, State your conditions, this lady accepts. Since childhood, this was the first time she had ever received a gift, and now it had become a fatal hindrance. In the future, even if she was beaten to death, she would never accept another gift, especially from a man. Bai Luo felt like her young heart had been deeply hurt, completely shrouded in a lingering shadow. Either show me some respect, or return my gift. Yang Kai stared at her calmly. I know. Bai Luo weakly responded, what else? I'm going out for a stroll, you come with me. N. That's a good boy. Yang Kai proudly laughed and walked out. Even after the two left, the beautiful woman Yunli, as well as Ruo Yu and Ruo Qing, who had just arrived, were still staring at the backs of the two in amazement. Bai Luo, did she just admit defeat? In Fragrant City, Bai Luo had always been fearless, with the exception of Shan Qing Luo, no one had ever been able to make her so obedient. But now, Yang Kai, this man of unknown origin, had actually made her admit defeat? The beautiful woman and her two maidservants both couldn't help feeling a sense of disbelief, not knowing what to say. Right, did Shan Qing Luo tell you that if I want to buy something, she has to pay for it? Walking out of the palace and onto the main street, Yang Kai suddenly asked. N. Bai Luo nodded lightly. Suddenly remembering something, she angrily shouted, Is master's name something you can call her by? Before she could finish her words, Yang Kai knocked her back. In front of your master, I dare call her that, and she doesn't object. You're just a little girl, so why are you being so long-winded? You. Bai Luo snarled, I'm warning you, don't go too far. Yang Kai ignored her and continued walking forward. Behind him, the sound of grinding teeth could be heard, and Yang Kai clearly felt a pair of resentful eyes bite into his back. After wandering around the city for a while, the pair came to a medicine shop. This medicine shop was opened by one of Fragrant City's relatively powerful forces. As soon as the two of them stepped inside, the shopkeeper of this medicine shop stumbled out from behind the counter and hurriedly bowed to Bai Luo, his forehead dripping with cold sweat, Lady Bai Luo, we are honored by your presence, please forgive us for not coming out to meet you. As soon as the shopkeeper called out, all the shop assistants in the medicine shop immediately scrambled to their feet while the other guests also fled as if they were avoiding snakes or scorpions. In the blink of an eye, only the shopkeeper remained in the medicine shop. Yang Kai stared blankly at all this, realizing that Bai Luo's reputation in Fragrant City wasn't very good. N. Bai Luo responded in a lukewarm manner. Lady Bai Luo, what do you want to, buy today? The shopkeeper wiped the sweat from his forehead and asked cautiously. I don't want to buy anything, he does, this one here is the master. You take care of him. Bai Luo pointed to Yang Kai snappily. Eh. The shopkeeper didn't quite understand, glancing back and forth between Yang Kai and Bai Luo suspiciously. Do you have any pills that can nourish one's soul and restore one's soul? Yang Kai asked directly. Yes. The shopkeeper nodded repeatedly, soul nourishing pill, soul restoring pill, soul restoring pill, these are all things this honored guest needs, which one do you want? How many do we have? Yang Kai asked. There aren't many of these kinds of pills, each one only has three or four bottles. Only the soul restoring pill has five bottles. I'll take all of them. Yang Kai waved his hand and said generously. 
In any case, with Shan Qin Luo acting as a spendthrift, it would be a waste not to buy them. Besides, Shan Qin Luo was the great evil queen of this generation, so this kind of money was nothing to her. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 317 All, all of them. The shopkeeper looked dumbfounded, and even Bai Luo looked at Yang Kai suspiciously, what do you want these things for? You haven't even reached the immortal ascension boundary yet. Don't meddle in things you shouldn't meddle in. Yang Kai replied faintly. Sister Bai Luo, this. The shopkeeper turned to ask for instructions. Didn't you hear? This young master said he wants them all, so take them all out. Just pack them up and send them to master's palace, you won't be short on money. Bai Luo had just suffered at the hands of Yang Kai, so in the blink of an eye, she had taken it all out on the shopkeeper. Yes, yes, yes. The shopkeeper nodded. Although Bai Luo's temper wasn't good, when doing business with her she would never bully others, so the shopkeeper wasn't worried about her reneging on her debt. However, who was this boy? Bai Luo seemed to hold a great deal of resentment towards him. The shopkeeper's heart pounded, but he didn't dare neglect, quickly packing up all the pills Yang Kai wanted and ordering one of the shop assistants to deliver them to the palace. When the shop assistant walked past Bai Luo, he kept his head down, his eyes staring straight at his toes, not daring to look at Bai Luo at all. After leaving the medicine shop, Yang Kai intentionally or unintentionally glanced over at Bai Luo, many men in the city seem to be afraid of you. Humph. Bai Luo said valiantly, her enchanting face filled with arrogance and pride, puffing out her chest and casually declaring, if they dare look at me, this young lady will dig out their eyes. That's too much. Kai Yang frowned, isn't being beautiful so that others can look at you? If others don't look at you, then what's the point of that? What's the point of being beautiful? What do you know? Bai Luo glared at him, you men's minds are filled with dirty thoughts, seeing a beautiful woman you want to do bad things, this young lady doesn't want to be looked at like that. Not everyone is like that. Yang Kai argued unconvincingly. Bai Luo swept her eyes over him for a moment before suddenly saying, En, you're definitely not. At the very least, when you looked at me, you didn't show any obscene eyes. I admit that you're better than most men in this regard. Sister Bai Luo is too polite. Yang Kai responded lightly. Now, where do you want to go? Bai Luo crossed her arms behind her back, revealing her delicate curves. She said impatiently, if you don't want to walk around, I will return to my residence to cultivate. Of course we have to stroll around. Fragrance City has more than one medicinal workshop, right? There are four or five rooms. You're still going to the pill shop. Bai Luo looked at him with slight surprise, you're not going to buy some soul-nourishing pills, are you? Of course. What's the point of buying so many, do you even need them? Bai Luo grumbled before curling her lips and saying, fine, 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 I won't meddle in your business. If you want to buy it, I'll take you there. Rolling her eyes, Bai Luo suddenly giggled before quickly putting on a serious expression, coughing lightly and pretending to be nonchalant as she led the way. Although Fragrant City was not small, there were only a few medicinal workshops here. After all, to be able to sell pills in large quantities, one needed a powerful family as a backer. The financial, human, and material resources involved were not something some small forces could satisfy. Therefore, in the entire city, there were only five medicinal workshops in total. Bai Luo led the way in front of Yang Kai for quite some time. Finally, after visiting the first four pill shops and sweeping up all the pills that could replenish one's soul and nourish one's soul, he led Yang Kai to the fifth pill shop. Inside Heavenly Lu Medicine Workshop, a young man in a tight suit hurried up to the second floor and knocked lightly on the door of a certain room. A thunderous voice immediately rang out from inside, Fuck, who is it? Didn't I tell you not to bother me if it wasn't important? Little brat, I'll twist your dog head off. 
Young master, it's about young lady by Luo. The young man in the tight suit was cursed like a dog but didn't complain at all, instead still replying respectfully. Immediately, a thumping sound came from inside, as if the person inside the room had quickly stood up and rushed out. On the first floor of Heavenly Lo Medicine Workshop, the shop assistants who were working all wore bitter expressions as they stared up at the ceiling in horror, fearing that their young master would stomp a hole through it. With a crashing sound, the door was opened, and an extremely tall and sturdy man rushed out. He looked like a strong bear. This man wasn't very old, only in his early twenties, but he was extremely handsome and had a unique physique. His face was covered with a full beard, giving him an extremely rough appearance. Only his pair of small and narrow eyes, combined with his physique, gave him a somewhat sinister appearance. This was the young master of the family behind Heavenly Lu Medicine Workshop, Lu Yu. The Lu family was a great force in Fragrance City, and its patriarch was one of Fragrance City's elders. They had been assisting the Shan Qin Luo for more than 200 years, and could be said to have worked hard for many years. The Lu family's main residence was not in Fragrance City, but rather a mountain villa a hundred kilometers outside of the city. The reason why Lu Yu wanted to stay in Fragrant City's medicine workshop was because of his relationship with Bai Luo. Since accidentally meeting Bai Luo a year ago, Lu Yu had been shocked by her beauty and was determined to marry her into his family. Although Bai Luo's background was low, and she was neither a pretty girl from a humble family nor a noble family, she was still the most popular person in the Shan Qin Luo, so the Lu family was quite supportive of this matter and allowed Lu Yu to stay in the city. Unfortunately, this year, Lu Yu had only seen Bai Luo a few times, and each time it was Bai Luo who was forced to flee. The Shan Qin Luo's palace, even Lu Yu didn't dare to casually break into it. Every time Bai Luo fled into the palace, Lu Yu could only sigh. If there was anyone in Fragrant City that Bai Luo was afraid of, it was none other than Lu Yu. Whenever Bai Luo thought about this man who was more than four times her size, she would wake up from nightmares. Rushing out of the room, Lu Yu grabbed the young man who had come to deliver the message. This young man was also extremely strong, but now he was being carried by Lu Yu like a little chick, his feet dangling off the ground. What happened to Bai Luo? Lu Yu asked hurriedly. The young man's forehead was dripping with cold sweat as he hurriedly said, Young master, didn't you say before that once young lady Bai Luo left the palace, you would report to me? Today she came out. She came out. Lu Yu looked overjoyed, tossing the young man to the ground before running three steps back and asking, Where is she now? The young man's expression became strange as he replied, Young lady Bai Luo is currently heading towards Heavenly Lo Medicine Square. HM. Lu Yu stared blankly for a moment before asking coldly, are your dog eyes not deceiving you? It's true, she really is heading towards Heavenly Lu Medicine Square. How could that be? Although Lu Yu's appearance was earth shattering, what was at odds with his physique was that he was a clever man. He had long known that Bai Luo didn't like him and had always been chased back to the Queen's Master's Palace, so how could she possibly be a sheep in a tiger's den this time? Did she come alone? Suddenly, as if thinking of something, Lu Yu's expression became cold, his small and narrow eyes narrowing slightly as a cold light flashed across them. No. The young man who had delivered the message trembled and stammered, it seems, it seems she came with a young man. Humph. Lu Yu's Yuan Qi suddenly erupted, causing the second floor of the room to shatter as he sneered, a young man. I'd like to see who dares have ideas about this father's woman. On the street, Yan Kai stared at Bai Luo suspiciously. Although he knew that she was definitely up to something, Yan Kai wasn't quite sure what she was planning to do. This enchanting girl's expression was quite hesitant, her brow furrowed, as if she was struggling to decide what to do. Bai Luo was naturally a little worried. Lu Yu wasn't an easy person to deal with, so if he really came to Heavenly Lu Medicine Square, it would definitely cause some trouble. What if this smelly brat was killed by Lu Yu? He was an honored guest of her master, if something really happened to him, it would be difficult to explain to the master. However, 
Bai Luo quickly calmed down. If she really couldn't handle it, she could just use her master's name. Even if Lu Yu was arrogant, he wouldn't dare not give face to the master. And, teaching this little brat a lesson should be enough, lest he think this girl is easy to bully. Remembering Yang Kai's previous attitude towards her, Bai Luo couldn't help grinding her teeth. Haven't we arrived yet? Yang Kai frowned and asked. Bai Luo was walking very slowly, obviously thinking about something. We're here. Bai Luo's slender fingers pointed forward, that's the largest medicine square in Fragrant City, and also the last one. How about, we don't go? Bai Luo suddenly said. At this moment, she didn't want to act so viciously. What's wrong? Yang Kai looked at her meaningfully, a playful look on his face. There's someone there, I hate him. I'm afraid we can't go. Yang Kai chuckled, someone else has come to invite us. Ah. Bai Luo was stunned, looking up and suddenly wearing a bitter expression. Several men dressed in martial attire quickly rushed out of the Heavenly Lu Medicine Clinic opposite them, and walked straight towards them. These people's strength wasn't weak, and although they weren't young, they were all masters at the Yuan Qi realm. When they arrived in front of the two, they all smiled and cupped their fists, Young Lady Bai Luo, my young master has been waiting for you for a long time, I hope Young Lady Bai Luo will give us some face and come to the medicine square for a chat. I have nothing to say to your young master. Bai Luo's face filled with disgust as she pulled Yang Kai aside, let's go. One of the men stepped forward and blocked her path, smiling bitterly, Young Lady Bai Luo, if you don't go, I'm afraid we'll lose a layer of skin today. I hope young lady Bai Luo can take pity on us, we don't want to anger our young master. What does your life or death have to do with me? Bai Luo shouted coldly. The man who spoke helplessly said, young master also said that if young lady Bai Luo doesn't want to give us face, then forget it, but this young lord must come with us. He dares. Bai Luo's voice became colder and colder, her beautiful eyes filled with anger and regret. She really shouldn't have dragged Yang Kai into these muddy waters. She knew that coming here was definitely not a good thing, but she had still brought him along. He <laughs> he, whether we dare or not isn't up to young lady by Luo to decide. This young lord, please. The men looked at Yang Kai with a smile. Yang Kai's expression remained indifferent as he frowned and said, I came here to buy pills, whatever grievances you have, I won't get involved, so don't drag me in. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 318 By now, Yang Kai also understood what was going on. That Lu Yu probably had some kind of interest in Bai Luo, so when he saw Yang Kai together with Bai Luo, he couldn't help feeling annoyed. Bai Luo was also aware of this and had brought him here in hopes that Lu Yu would teach him a lesson. But she didn't know why, but she regretted it now. Thinking so, Yang Kai glanced over at Bai Luo faintly. Feeling the cold light in his eyes, Bai Luo's heart clenched. Since this young lord wants to buy some pills, please, our heavenly Lu Medicine Square is the largest medicinal shop in Fragrant City, we won't disappoint you, he <laughs> he. The young man in the black robes said to Yang Kai with a smile. Having reached this point, if he tried to leave now, he would only be looked down upon. What's more, the other party had clearly invited him over, so even if he wanted to leave, he couldn't. I'll settle this with you when we get back. Yang Kai coldly snorted and stepped towards Heavenly Lu Medicine Square. Bai Luo's face filled with worry as she hurried to catch up, her enchanting face filled with annoyance. The group entered Heavenly Lu Medicine Square, but before Yang Kai could even stand still, he felt a pair of sharp and hostile eyes land on him. Following this gaze, Yang Kai's expression became cold. He had never seen such a tall and sturdy man before. His body was like an iron tower, and he was two heads taller than the average person. Moreover, the muscles on his body were bulging, and every piece of flesh was filled with explosive power. He was born with big arms and a round waist. 
He had a bear's waist and a tiger's back, just like a god standing there. His small and narrow eyes were narrowed, revealing only a small gap, but they still bloomed with a cold light as his mouth curled into a cold grin. Although he had not yet fought with him, Yang Kai could still feel a slight pressure from this burly man. This Lu Yu's combat strength was likely no worse than Chou Yi Meng's, perhaps even slightly higher. Lu Yu, what do you want to do? As soon as Bai Luo came in, she took the initiative and sternly said, He is Master's honored guest, don't be too presumptuous. Master's honored guest. Lu Yu's expression was slightly startled. Immediately sneered, his eyes becoming as cold as ice, him. Who does he think he is? How can he be the master's guest? He obviously thought that Bai Luo was just trying to scare him and didn't take her word seriously. I'm serious. Bai Luo anxiously said, if anything happens to him, you'll also be finished. Master's anger is no joke. Even the Yu family can't protect you. Cut the crap. Lu Yu said impatiently. Bai Luo being so protective of Yang Kai only made him feel more and more uncomfortable, grinning fiercely as he said, even if he is master's honored guest, so what? It would be fine as long as he didn't die. Besides, with his thin arms and legs, I don't want to make a move. I don't want others to say that I'm bullying him. Hearing this, Bai Luo couldn't help breathing a sigh of relief, at least you have some self-awareness. As long as Liu didn't make a move, no one would die. While the two were talking, Yang Kai just watched from the side. At this moment, he couldn't help but raise his eyebrows and say lightly, You can settle your grudges by yourselves. As I said, I'm just here to buy some pills. Buy pills? Liu grinned meaningfully, If you want pills, I have plenty here. If others came here to buy them, the price would be fair but if you want to buy them, I'm afraid it won't be so easy. Lu Yu, do you really have to be like this? Bai Luo's expression also became cold. Your heavenly Lu Medicine Square opened its doors to do business, why make things difficult for him? So what if I'm making things difficult for him? Unless, he <laughs> he, Bai Luo, you agree to marry me. As long as you marry me, I, your father, will immediately kowtow to this little brat and apologize. Lu Yu's expression changed as he looked at Bai Luo with a grin. In your dreams. Bai Luo clenched her teeth and refused, this lady would rather marry a dog than marry you. Lu Yu didn't get angry and instead just smiled, as if even if Bai Luo said some harsh words, she wouldn't be able to provoke him. Turning his eyes to Yang Kai, Lu Yu's smile faded and his expression became cold, little brat, your luck isn't good. Since Bai Luo won't marry me, you're in big trouble. What kind of pills do you want to buy? Lu Yu suddenly asked. Bai Luo thought he had changed his mind and smiled happily, quickly replying, pills that can restore one's soul and soul. Oh, the heavenly Lu Medicine Square still has a lot in stock. Lu Yu nodded, waving his hand, bring out all of these pills. The shop assistant in the heavenly Lu Medicine Square quickly complied and a moment later, brought out a dozen bottles of pills. Just send them to my palace, I'll come to settle the bill another day. Bai Luo smiled lightly, looking at Lu Yu and saying, I didn't think a bear like you would be so easy to talk to. Ha <laughs> ha. Lu Yu grinned, turning to Yang Kai and saying, whether I agree or not depends on whether this friend gives me face or not. Face is earned by oneself, not given by others. Yang Kai coldly snorted, being dragged into this mess for no reason, he was extremely unhappy. If he was unhappy, no one else would be happy. Well said. Lu Yu laughed heartily, as if these words had touched his heart, friend, I'll give you two choices. First, take these pills and get the hell out of Fragrant City. Get as far away as you can and never appear in front of me again for the rest of your life. I choose the second choice. Yang Kai looked at him indifferently and interrupted his words. Lu Yu was stunned for a moment before grinning, little brat, you're quite arrogant, I haven't seen someone like you in a long time. Saying so, 
he took the initiative to jump back a few steps and said to the other youths, you guys play with him, whether you win or lose, these pills belong to him. Bai Luo was shocked and screamed, hey, Luyu, you're going too far. All of them are at the Yuan Qi boundary, one on one is one thing, but how can you let them bully you with numbers? So what if they bully you with numbers? Lu Yu's face was full of disdain, here, you can either compete with me in terms of wealth or family background. He has nothing, so he can only compete with me in terms of combat strength. What I hate most is arrogance. The several youths grinned, all of them shaking their necks and tilting their heads, slowly walking over to Yang Kai and surrounding him. The strength of these youths wasn't low, at least a Yuan Qi third or fourth order cultivator, one of them even being a Yuan Qi sixth order cultivator. Inside Heavenly Lo Medicine Square, several old men narrowed their eyes as they stared outside, their expressions indifferent. Although they were all immortal ascension boundary masters, they wouldn't intervene in a fight between youths. Lu Yu's arrogance wouldn't allow them to do so, but Yang Kai and Bai Luo had come together. Their relationship was definitely not ordinary, so if they really provoked the other immortal ascension boundary masters in the city, or even Shan Qing Luo, things would only become more troublesome. No matter how much these youths fought, it was still a matter of loyalty, not something worth mentioning. Therefore, they just turned a blind eye to the situation outside. It wasn't the first time their young master had bullied others, killing them was a common occurrence, so it wasn't a big deal. Little brat. It's not too late to back out now. Father will allow you to choose one more time. Lu Yu laughed wildly. Before his laughter faded, Yang Kai had already made his move. A Yuan Qi Third Order youth only saw a blur in front of his eyes before his whole body suddenly flew through the air, a burst of pain coming from his chest before he fell unconscious. Asterisk Peng Peng Peng, asterisk a series of muffled sounds rang out as three or four figures flew through the air. Accompanied by muffled groans and the sound of bones breaking, in the blink of an eye, several youths under Liu Yu fell to the ground with a loud thud. Only the Yuan Qi Sixth Order Cultivator was left. He didn't even have time to recover before he found that his companions had been sent flying. Then. A figure appeared in front of him like a gust of wind. In a panic, he hurriedly tried to defend himself, but his opponent easily broke through his defenses and he was completely suppressed before he could even react. A sky full of fist shadows, each one of them ethereal and illusory, flew towards him. Superimposed on top of each other, they suddenly bombarded his whole body. Asterisk pa 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 pa, asterisk this person's Yuan Qi was so strong that he couldn't even lift a finger and the sound of bones breaking rang out from all over his body. In the midst of the explosion, Yan Kai leapt up and kicked him in the shoulder, sending him flying like a ragged sack before he fell to the ground, motionless. Lu Yu's pupils shrank. The moment Yan Kai attacked, he had already noticed the strength and purity of Yang Kai's true qi. The sudden burst of Yang Kai's true qi strength and purity made him almost unable to believe his eyes. In the blink of an eye, all of his subordinates had been wiped out. Ah, Bai Luo blinked her big eyes, a look of shock filling her face as she stared at Yang Kai in shock. Although she had been in contact with Yang Kai several times, she didn't know much about him. Her knowledge was limited to Yang Kai's not-so-high realm. This was the first time she had seen him fight. In a flash, four or five Yuan Qi cultivators had been defeated. What kind of combat strength was this? Could a Yuan Qi fifth-stage cultivator achieve this? Bai Luo's heart trembled. She suddenly understood why her master valued him so much. Him being a Yuan Qi fifth stage cultivator seemed to be quite extraordinary. Inside Heavenly Lo Medicine Square, the several old men also narrowed their eyes in shock. Yang Kai's attack was decisive and extremely ruthless. The several Yuan Qi young men all had their bones broken in at least a dozen places. The Yuan Qi sixth stage cultivator was even more miserable, probably unable to get out of bed for at least half a year. How come they had never heard of such a powerful and overbearing young man before? In the middle of the square, 
Yang Kai stood there indifferently, glancing over at Luyu before calling out, Bai Luo. H.M. Bai Luo was surprised and quickly responded. Take these pills, let's go. N. Bai Luo quickly ran out and grabbed the dozen or so bottles of pills the shop assistant had brought out before walking over to Yang Kai with a worried expression. You want to leave? Lu Yu roared, his voice like a thunderbolt on a clear day, causing the entire street to tremble. With a loud roar, Lu Yu leapt up into the air and landed in front of Yang Kai, blocking his way, glaring at him menacingly, You want to leave after injuring my people? You won't get away so easily. What do you want? Yang Kai stared at him coldly. Fight with me. Lu Yu cracked his neck, his expression fierce, if you can beat me, it won't be too late for you to leave. Lu Yu, don't go too far. Bai Luo frowned coldly. I've already gotten what I want, do you still have the capital to make me fight? Yang Kai looked at him disdainfully. Lu Yu sneered, a pill to supplement your soul, there is also a divine spirit pill in the square, a mysterious grade low rank pill. What do you think? Not interested. Welcome aboard. Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 319 You don't even fancy a mysterious grade pill? Lu Yu was startled. This wasn't an ordinary pill, but one that could repair one's spiritual energy. The value of this pill was much higher than a bottle of other mysterious grade pills, at least a few hundred thousand silvers. Mysterious grade pills weren't something that could be casually refined. In the entire Great Han Dynasty, there were no more than thirty alchemists who could refine mysterious grade pills, yet Lu Yu didn't even spare a glance at them. Was this little brat's vision so high? Not interested. Yang Kai quickly said. Lu Yu's eyes suddenly became cold, and his Yuan Qi fiercely burst forth, Father doesn't care if you're interested or not, since you've been targeted by father, you'll have to fight even if you don't want to. As he spoke, the ground where he stood cracked and stone fragments flew out. A dark purple light emerged from Lu Yu's body and transformed into an invisible energy that rushed towards Yang Kai. Lu Yu, if you dare hurt him, you're dead. Bai Luo's beautiful face went pale as she screamed. Although Yang Kai had just defeated several Yuan Qi cultivators in a flash, Lu Yu was different. He was a famous existence in the entire Ash Grey Cloud Evil Land, and although his appearance wasn't very good, his combat strength was quite high. Few of the younger generation could fight against him. Moreover, Lu Yu was a bloodthirsty person. Those who had exchanged blows with him all died cleanly, not leaving a single one alive. Bai Luo didn't know if Yang Kai was his opponent, so how could she not be worried? If something really happened to Yang Kai, how could she explain this to Shan Qing Luo? While she was still in shock, Yang Kai's Yuan Qi also burst forth. Asterisk Poo Poo Poo, asterisk the two attacks condensed from their respective Yuan Qi collided and were evenly matched. Lu Yu's invisible attack was cleanly resolved. Before he had time to catch his breath, Yang Kai suddenly saw Lu Yu's mouth curl into a smug smile. His expression changed, and he leaped into the air. Asterisk CI, asterisk suddenly, an evil light shot out from the ground, almost piercing through Yang Kai's foot. Ha! Huh. A cold light flashed in Lu Yu's eyes. He didn't expect Yang Kai to be so vigilant and able to avoid that sudden attack. Yang Kai, who had leaped into the air, looked like a burning fireball. The true Yang Yuan Qi was pushed to the limit. It swooped down like an eagle soaring through the sky, carrying with it a destructive force. Sensing the heat and pressure coming from above his head, Lu Yu didn't dare to be careless. He raised both his palms and met the attack head on. Boom boom boom, the violent Yuan Qi collided with each other like waves, and each collision brought out a halo of light. It spread outwards like ripples. In such a collision, Lu Yu's tower-like body slowly sank into the ground. It wasn't that he wasn't as strong as Yang Kai, but that the ground couldn't withstand such an attack. With Lu Yu as the center, 
cracks that looked like turtle patterns had already appeared on the ground where he stood. The cold light in Yang Kai's eyes grew stronger. He threw out his Yuan Qi without any scruples, trying to push Lu Yu into the ground. Sensing his intentions, Lu Yu let out a furious roar. Like a mad beast, his muscles bulged as he used all the strength in his body to fiercely throw out a punch. Half of Fragrant City trembled. The surrounding shops were smashed into pieces by this punch, and the shop assistants inside all screamed. They hurriedly ran away. Even Heavenly Lo Medicine Square couldn't avoid it. Yang Kai looked dignified. He had no intention of dodging. Burning Sun's three-layer blast. Three bursts of energy instantly superimposed under Yang Kai's control. Boom, Lu Yu's body was smashed half into the ground, and Kai Yang borrowed the force of the rebound to float to the side. Once he had stabilized his footing. His face was slightly pale. Lu Yu didn't suffer from this blow. Instead, it was Yang Kai who suffered. But being forcefully smashed into the ground, what Lu Yu lost was face. There was complete silence, not a sound could be heard. The onlookers all turned to look at Yang Kai again, their eyes filled with shock and surprise. None of them had expected him to be able to beat Lu Yu into such a state. What's going on? A number of figures flew over from all directions, all of them immortal ascension boundary masters from the city. Under Shan Qin Luo's management, Fragrant City rarely had street fights, but today's battle had caused such a ruckus that even the immortal ascension boundary masters couldn't help but rush over to see what was going on. After discovering that the one fighting at the scene was actually Lu Yu, they couldn't help feeling stunned. The most important thing was that Lu Yu seemed to have suffered a loss. His body was buried in the ground, and the one he was fighting, was actually just a young boy. What happened? Who is Liu fighting with? These people flew to the side and grabbed a few of the immortal ascension boundary masters inside Heavenly Lu Medicine Square. Who is he? He can actually fight Liu head on. One of the Lu family masters smiled bitterly, we don't know where this little brat came from, but according to Bai Luo, he is an honored guest of the Queen's Master. An honored guest of the Queen's Master. How come we haven't heard of him? Don't worry about that, what should we do now? It's over, the young master has never suffered such a big loss before. This time I'm afraid he won't be able to settle this peacefully. Ha <laughs> ha. In the middle of the field, Lu Yu suddenly laughed a few times, raising his head and glaring at Yang Kai, the chill in his eyes almost solidifying as he said in a low voice, No one has ever dared to treat me like this, your courage isn't small. As he spoke, Lu Yu's body once again emitted a purple demonic chi, but this time, this demonic chi was like a solid tattoo on his body. Demonic purple chi body. Some of the immortal ascension boundary masters in the crowd exclaimed, Is Lu Yu going to use this move? The young master still can't suppress this demonic chi, quickly stop him. It's too late. What kind of background does this little brat have? How did he force the young master to use this move? The group of people were so anxious that their foreheads were dripping with sweat, but there was nothing they could do. They could only hope that Lu Yu would quickly defeat Yang Kai and disperse his demonic purple chi body. The demonic purple chi body was a martial skill that was born inside the evil cavern. A cultivator would enter the evil cavern and absorb the flowing time great emperor's demonic chi. If one's luck was good enough and if one's aptitude was high enough, they would be able to comprehend this martial skill. Every year, many cultivator would enter the evil cavern in an attempt to comprehend its mysteries, but the number of people who entered was not small, and many of them died. Occasionally, there would be a few people who were lucky enough to come out alive, but they were not necessarily able to comprehend this martial skill. Lu Yu was one of those who had successfully comprehended this martial skill. Every year, he would spend a period of time in the evil cavern to absorb the demonic chi in order to enhance the power of this martial skill. After so many years, this martial skill could already play a significant role. Using the demonic purple chi body, Lu Yu's strength soared, his eyes flashing with a fierce light. Leaping up from the ground, 
he grinned maliciously as he approached Yang Kai. As he took a step forward, a mace suddenly appeared in his hand. The barbs on the mace were incomparably sharp, and the surface of the mace flashed with a bright red light, as if it was made of thick blood. This mace had obviously killed a lot of people. Lu Yu was going all out. Everyone who saw this knew that he must have flown into a rage out of humiliation. That was why he had used the demonic purple chi body as well as an artifact. He didn't intend to hold back at all. Yang Kai, you be careful. He doesn't have any sense of reason right now. Bai Luo's beautiful face went pale as she screamed towards Yang Kai. Yang Kai glanced at her coldly and snorted. Noticing the approaching demonic qi, Yang Kai leisurely pushed Chen Yang Yuan qi back into the Dantian. The energy inside the unyielding golden skeleton suddenly erupted. Asterisk Hua, asterisk as if dark clouds had covered the sky, a dark turbulence instantly swallowed all the light. Everyone only felt their vision go dark and they couldn't see anything. Immediately, two scarlet eyes lit up in the darkness, just like Lu Yu's, filled with madness, bloodthirst, and cruelty. What a strong evil chi! Everyone was shocked as they stared at Yang Kai's transformation in amazement, all of them dumbfounded for a moment. These immortal ascension boundary masters all had extremely sharp divine senses and keen eyesight. How could they not notice that Yang Kai's evil chi was even stronger than Liu's? Could it also be a martial skill he comprehended inside the evil cavern? Why does it look so similar to Liu's? Besides the color of their bodies being different, there wasn't much difference. No, it's not the same. A relatively strong immortal ascension boundary master said in amazement, look, although their eyes are similar, Liu obviously doesn't have much consciousness left. His mind has been swallowed by the evil chi inside his body. He's acting on instinct. But this boy, his eyes are very calm. Could it be he can suppress the evil chi inside his body? I'm afraid so. Damn, what kind of freak is this? A group of people suddenly shouted, only the several immortal ascension boundary masters from Heavenly Lu Medicine Square frowned. You're dead, ha <laughs> ha. Lu Yu muttered under his breath, his cold and crazed eyes locked onto Yang Kai. Holding his mace, Lu Yu slowly walked over, and as he approached, a violent pressure pressed down on Yang Kai. Yang Kai waved his hand and summoned the blood-red Azura sword into his hand. With a shake of the sword, Yang Kai's body instantly filled with sword chi. A heaven-grade artifact. The group of immortal ascension boundary masters exclaimed. Heaven-grade artifacts were rare. Even for these people, only a few of them possessed a heaven-grade artifact. Moreover, this was a heaven-grade long sword artifact, its value was much higher than ordinary artifacts. As soon as this sword appeared, the evil chi emanating from this boy's body seemed to become denser, even more tyrannical than before. At such a young age, his strength was so tyrannical, and he even had a heaven-grade artifact to protect himself, not to mention he was an honored guest of the beguiling demon queen, this, this little brat's background wasn't small. Perceiving this, the foreheads of the Lu family's immortal ascension boundary masters were instantly filled with cold sweat. Was he the descendant of one of the evil kings? If that was the case, and Liu had provoked him like this, the Lu family would be in big trouble. Sister by Luo, sister by Luo. One of the Lu family masters quietly came over to Bai Luo's side and whispered cautiously, What is this young lord's identity? Bai Luo stared at Yang Kai, her seductive face completely drained of blood as she smiled bitterly and said, I don't know, it was Master who brought him back. I said he was Master's honored guest. You don't know anything. The Master didn't give up and continued to ask. Bai Luo slowly shook her head. Asterisk Hong Hong Hong, asterisk while the two were talking, Lu Yu and Yang Kai had already begun fighting. Lu Yu, with his demonic purple chi body, held a huge mace in his hand, each of his strikes seeming to contain a tremendous amount of power. As he weaved through the air, Yang Kai's dark sword Qi was shattered into pieces. Welcome aboard. 
Stay tuned and subscribe to Han Li's Wuxia Adventures for more thrilling content. Chapter 320 Liu's physique was strong and robust. With the huge wolf tooth club in his hand, he exuded a tyrannical aura of supremacy. Every time he swung the wolf tooth club, every strike would cover a huge area. The thousands of sword qi streams surrounding Yang Kai's body were destroyed before they could even play a role. His face sinking, Yang Kai waved his hand and sent out a black sword wave condensed from Yuan Qi, shooting straight towards Liu, almost cutting the void in half. Liu grinned and did not dodge, instead raising his club and slashing down. With a bang, the black sword wave was shattered, and although Lu Yu's body was slightly shaken, he was not injured in the slightest. His footsteps did not stop as he fiercely smashed towards Yang Kai. Wrapped in the inky black demonic qi, Yang Kai's pair of red eyes flashed coldly. Black qi swirled around his palms as he fiercely pushed them forward. White Tiger Seal, Divine Ox Seal Accompanied by the roar of a tiger and the roar of an ox, two huge black beast phantoms appeared, one bearing its fangs as it pounced towards Liu while the other rushed forward. Asterisk dong dong dong, asterisk the earth trembled fiercely. Liu's eyes flashed with madness. Not only was he not shocked, he laughed loudly and went up to greet him. He shouted, Good, good, but you are still dead. I will drink your blood dry. You are qualified to make me do that. The wolf tooth club swept out in both directions and the two beast phantoms were directly blown away, dissipating into the air and disappearing. However, after this short delay, Yang Kai had already made his next move. Three sword qi streams opened up a path in front of him as his demonic qi suddenly transformed into a giant hand that covered the sky and slammed down towards Liu. Two months ago, Yang Kai was still unable to control his own demonic qi at will. But since learning Xiao Fu Xing's method of controlling Yuan Qi on Hidden Cloud Peak, his ability to control this demonic qi was no longer something he could compare to before. Although this kind of control was still superficial, it was much better than before. Quickly approaching, Liu Yu smashed the three sword qi streams with his club, causing his hairs to stand on end as his purple demonic qi surged. Before he could dodge, he was struck by the pitch black hand. Hong Long Long, it was as if the entire earth had been slapped down, and the green slabs turned into fragments that fluttered about endlessly. The darkness churned, and Liu completely disappeared into the darkness. Ah! Bai Luo's jaw dropped, not knowing what to say. She had thought that Yang Kai's previous performance was already strong enough, but she had never imagined that this wasn't even Yang Kai's true level. The mysteriousness and strangeness of this person had far exceeded by Luo's imagination. Young Master The several Lu family immortal ascension boundary masters exclaimed. However, he immediately calmed down. Under the probing of their divine senses, they found that Lu Yu's vital energy and blood had not weakened at all. Instead, due to his anger, they were rapidly increasing in strength. This little brat is quite fierce, actually being able to force Lu Yu to eat defeat after defeat, ha ha ha, I really want to see what kind of expression that old dog Lu Wu Ji will have when he hears this news. An immortal ascension boundary cultivator who had come to watch the show laughed loudly. He seemed to be very happy to see Lu Yu being bullied. Lu Wu Ji, the previous patriarch of the Lu family, peak immortal ascension boundary. He was also an elder of Fragrant City. What a pity, the several elders and master have all gone to the Beast King's territory, I'm afraid we won't be able to see them for the time being. Someone else gloated. The faces of the several Lu family immortal ascension boundary masters suddenly went black. All of them glared hatefully at these people. Yang Kai's expression remained cold, his brow wrinkling slightly as he carefully sensed the changes in Liu Yu's aura. Suddenly, a faint purple light burst forth from the boundless darkness. When this faint light appeared, it looked like a small flame. However, this flame quickly spread outwards like a prairie fire. Asterisk Xiao Xiao Xiao, asterisk a burst of purple demonic qi broke through the darkness and shot towards Yang Kai like a bolt of lightning. 
This purple demonic chi almost condensed into a tangible substance, like a burning flame, but what was strange was that not only did it not have the slightest heat, it instead gave off a bone-chilling cold. Asterisk pa 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 pa, asterisk Yang Kai's demonic chi surged, the black and purple demonic chi madly colliding, neither side able to gain the upper hand. A moment later, the purple demonic chi returned, breaking through the blockade of darkness, and Li Yu's burly figure once again appeared in front of everyone. He 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 he. Li Yu rested his huge mace on his shoulder, letting out a low and gloomy laugh. Yang Kai's expression sank, he suddenly discovered that at some point his body had caught fire, and this time it was a purple demonic fire. A bone-chilling cold spread from the location of the fire, quickly wrapping around his entire body. As the demonic fire burned, not only did it cause one to feel a chill from the bottom of their heart, but it also caused their energy to rapidly dissipate. This was not a fire, but rather the effect of the purple demonic chi that had reached a certain level of density. As the temperature of his body rapidly decreased, so did the demonic chi around him. Yang Kai's entire body was quickly covered in a layer of frost, even his hair and clothes becoming white as snow. Lu Yu's mouth bloomed into a cold grin. You're dead. As he spoke, the purple tattoos on Lu Yu's body seemed to come alive, breaking off from his skin and transforming into terrifying vipers that opened their fangs and bit towards Yang Kai. This little brat is finished. The spectating immortal ascension boundary masters once again excitedly commented. In this group of people, with the exception of the Lu family's masters, they were all eager to see the world burn. Who cared if Yang Kai was a master, an honored guest, or a young master of the Lu family? If his body had not been frozen, he might have been able to fight Lu Yu, but now that his body was frozen, his movements were sluggish, so how could he avoid Lu Yu's attack? In for a penny, in for a pound, after Lu Yu released the purple tattooed snakes, he also rushed towards Yang Kai with his wolf tooth club. He was determined to kill him. Don't. Bai Luo screamed, but how could Lu Yu, who had lost most of his consciousness and only wanted to kill Yang Kai, pay her any attention? At that moment, the sluggish Yang Kai's body suddenly fluttered with blood-red petals. A seemingly intoxicating floral fragrance wafted out from these petals. These petals quickly gathered together and soon formed the shape of a blooming begonia flower, which wrapped around Yang Kai's body, leaving not the slightest gap. Another heaven-grade artifact. The immortal ascension boundary master's eyes nearly popped out of their sockets. Only now did they realize that the situation was far from good. If Yang Kai taking out a heaven-grade artifact before made them realize that Yang Kai had some background, then this one was truly not small. At the very least. This wasn't something the Lu family could contend with. What kind of force could allow a young man to carry two heaven-grade artifacts? Moreover, both of them were weapons that exuded thick murderous intent. The Lu family couldn't. Lu Yu only had a single heaven-grade artifact. Was this young man related to one of the other five great evil kings, or was he the disciple of some hidden master? The Lu family's immortal ascension boundary master's jaws dropped. What are you waiting for? You idiots! Quickly stop Lu Yu! One of the spectating immortal ascension boundary masters didn't want to make things too big and quickly reminded them. Oh, oh! The Lu family masters woke up from their stupor, not daring to hesitate, they all rushed towards the battlefield. In front of the budding thousand blossoming blood begonia, Lu Yu held his mace high and released his full strength. With a loud bang, the flower bud instantly shattered, revealing Yang Kai inside. With a muffled groan, Yang Kai was sent flying, vomiting a mouthful of blood midair, but the purple demonic flames that originally wrapped around his body had disappeared at some point. His expression extremely cold, Yang Kai quickly waved his hands. Thousands of petals flew back and forth. The Azura Sword sword light was like a snake coming out of its hole, swallowing and spitting. A huge sword light appeared and slashed down towards Lu Yu. Lu Yu's pupils shrank. With a roar, his muscles bulged as he raised his mace to block the sword light. 
but the thousands of petals continued to attack. All of you, stop. The Lu family's immortal ascension boundary masters finally arrived, one blocking Yang Kai while the rest rushed to Lu Yu's side. With the combined strength of these masters, the Thousand Blossoming Blood Begonia and the Azura Sword Qi were both blocked. Young master. Stop fighting. Get out of my way, I'll kill him, I can kill him. Lu Yu's Yuan Qi surged violently as he waved his mace, sending the Immortal Ascension Boundary Masters into a panic, who the fuck stops me, I'll kill them all. The several immortal ascension boundary masters glanced at each other and saw the helplessness in each other's eyes, suddenly nodding and quickly attacking. With a series of bangs, Lu Yu was knocked unconscious. They had no choice but to do this. Knocking Lu Yu out like this would inevitably cause him to suffer a backlash from the demonic purple chi body, after all, he still couldn't completely control the demonic energy in his body. Because of this concern, even though they knew Yang Kai's background wasn't small, they didn't stop him. But when Yang Kai took out a second heaven grade artifact, even if they didn't want to stop him, they had no choice but to. This young man's background had suddenly become much bigger. Liu suffering some injuries wasn't a big deal, but the key was that they couldn't afford to offend the great force behind Yang Kai. That great force or master was not someone the Lu family could provoke. What's more, he was an honored guest of the Shan Qin Luo. They couldn't afford to provoke him. What do you mean? Yang Kai stared coldly at the Lu family's immortal ascension boundary master blocking his way, methodically taking back his thousand blossoming blood begonia. Young lord. The Lu family's immortal ascension boundary master frowned, cupping his fists and smiling bitterly, young lord, please calm your anger. My young master has offended you many times before, I hope young lord can forgive him. As you can see, my young master has lost his mind after using his demonic purple chi body. He doesn't really want to fight to the death with you, so this battle, let's end here. Yang Kai raised his brow and sneered, your Lu family is quite arrogant, fighting as you please and stopping as you please. This. The Lu family's immortal ascension boundary master was suddenly at a loss for words, his expression turning ugly. However, he was also powerless to refute. This young man had said before he came that he was only here to buy pills, yet his young master had insisted on provoking him. Just as he didn't know how to answer, Yang Kai lightly said, since he was knocked unconscious by you, even if I wanted to continue, I wouldn't be able to. Please forgive me, young lord. The Lu family's immortal ascension boundary master smiled apologetically, as if a heavy burden had been lifted from his shoulders. Thinking the other party was easy to talk to, he couldn't help feeling grateful. Yang Kai coldly snorted, turned around, and walked away, his cold voice echoing, this matter isn't over.